All right, gamers, welcome to my new Smolder to Diamond series. This game, we're going to be playing Smolder Alistar into Kitlin Blitzcrank. Being forced to leash here against my will. It is what it is. I'm just going to throw a few autos there and walk into the lane. We're going to be starting W and we're going to be starting Doran's Ring. If you are not up to date with the current Smolder meta, uh, this is how you want to play them. You want to start with W, put like two to three points in W uh, before maxing Q, and you're just going to be playing for Harass in lane. Boom, look at that damage on the Caitlyn. Does that seem balanced to you? It's got an absurd amount of base damage, and it also has an absurd AP scaling. It actually scales 100% with AP. Actually, probably more. Potentially more. Depends on how many people you hit with your W. She's in the very tight corridor there, so super easy to land that on her. Apparently, just barely couldn't reach her there, though. Awkward. Would have been a lot of damage, so it's sad to miss out on that. Ooh. I have W up, but that's fine, that's fine. Uh, Blitz will try and hook, though. Nice one, nice one. So yeah, so we start the run's ring both for the AP scaling, which W scales with a lot better. Hang on. Scales a lot better with AP. Ooh. Lovely. Well done, Alistar. Scales a lot better with AP than it does with AD, and it also gives you a lot of mana regen, which is super nice, both for the W harass and just for having enough uh, mana to actually constantly stack with the W and to constantly harass the enemies with the W and your Q. Uh, we're good, but since we're playing such an aggressive setup, it is going to be a lot more normal for us to just be trading with Q compared to just uh, lossing minions with Q. Just because we're landing so much damage on the enemies, other like uh, otherwise anyway, that it's a lot more value to actually use Q on champions and just focus on trying to kill them. Probably, ooh. Huh. Is he, is he dead there? He might not be, actually. Whoa, no, 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 no. You don't have to die there, buddy. You don't... Oh, no. He probably assumed he was dead, but he really wasn't. Oh, well. Hmm, do I have to drop away with her? I might have to. I think it would be really greedy, probably, to stay here. I've got a potent... Well, I would say a potentially huge item lead over Caitlyn, but it's not going to be now that she has a kill, but still. I, I want to, like, actually spend the gold that I have. Uh... Yeah, so currently, so the base damage from W at level 1 is like already more than 100. But basically, to calculate the damage, you gotta calculate the initial damage with the second damage. So at the moment, it's dealing minimum, um, let's see, 50, 174? Uh, 100, sorry, 172 uh, damage from our W. And that's potentially even more per target, depending, like if we manage to hit Blitzcrank and Caitlyn, both with our W, that creates two explosions instead of one. So that is a lot more damage. Particularly, it gives you a lot more damage from the AP scaling as well. Ah, damn it. Should have probably just focused on queuing that. Oh, well. Yeah, see, we've had such a heavy, like, W-focused approach. Instead of actually trade or, like, velocity with Q or trading with Q. Uh, but we already have 20 stacks just like that. Because you don't just stack with W, you stack with hitting abilities in general. Oh, my bad. Ooh, this could be bad. We apparently don't have... I'll start with this. Okay, not bad. Where is Alistar? Oh, tower diving and dying. That sucks. This is a really bad lane to have my support roaming in, too, unfortunately. I, I can't walk up here. It is what it is. I'll go play some vision in the meantime, do something useful with this. And that I can't even get XP. Ah, of course there's a pink in there. Can I clear it? We can. I can try and bait for Shivana. Maybe I could have aimed that more, Caitlyn. We're doing a lot of damage, though. A lot of good damage. Okay, not bad, not bad. Just need to make sure I don't get hooked. Perfect. Oh, she's trying to headshot me. Right, I need to pay attention to that. Yeah, so we're already on 25 stacks. See, the more you trade, the more you stack as well. It's not just from farming. In fact, I would say if you're able, if you're in a matchup where you can trade, you're going to get so many more stacks than you will if uh, you can only get stacks from farming. And you can just trade so much more heavily when you've got this W set up. Ooh. Come on. Okay, he dies. Perfect. 
Oh, that, I thought that was our jungler. My bad. Okay, there's no point ghosting now. If I'd actually noticed that was the enemy jungler and not mine, I could have ghosted in advance and actually gotten away. My bad. Don't know why I thought that was my jungler. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the moat. We scale pretty heavily with CDR. Even without, uh, even like when not talking about uh, using CDR to stack Q, uh, the W also scales pretty well with ability haste. The more, obviously, the more haste we have, the more we can harass with that. The lane phase isn't going really as smoothly as I would like just because of the heavy mistakes that Alistar has been making, as well as all this jungle interf Well, I say all this jungle interference. That one piece of jungle interference when we're in a really solid spot. Also, yes, another benefit of W is it has such good wave clear, it makes it really easy to set the minions up low enough to loss it with your Q. Hmm. Technically, like, the range on W is insanely high, but it is so hard to actually um, get the long range ones to land because they're so incredibly slow and such a tiny hitbox. It's so rare for a long range one to actually land, even it, even if it looks like it should. Yeah, we're gonna rotate here. See if we can help. A pop ghost because we definitely can help here. Perfect. And I can walk back into lane with my ghost. Uh, we're just gonna be testing the conventional build this game, but there are like some really cooking smaller builds that people have come up with. Uh. Okay. Okay, not bad. Oh, W W, perfect. All right, that's not too bad then. Could have been better. So shame Alistar backed off too early because I knew that we could still win the fight, but he seemed to be obviously hadn't seen my damage yet, so he didn't think that we could win. Um, I'll go for pink ward, sure. Still, it's not too bad. The wave state is really good for us. It's a shame this lane is so chaotic, though. We were off to such a good start. On, like, honestly, this game is, like, so close to being so clean. <laughs> but there's just been a few shenanigans. Just a few too many. Still, like, we're doing quite good overall. We are a whole 1 CS ahead. Going to be even more after this wave. Uh, we'll showcase exactly how easy it is to stack. W with that... Uh, sorry, Q with that W. Maxing, there we go. Could have probably even ordered that cannon to set it up so I could get three. Whoa! Right, I can go through walls. That is actually something very important to note in that situation. Makes it a lot easier to juke the hook. Because uh, remember, a lot of the time, it's like super easy to land skull shots on people who are near walls because they have, they have this like unpassable block of land so I can only move down here so it's super easy to just like aim slightly downwards and have no angle to dodge at but if I can actually go through that wall it's not a factor by the way Blitz could be in this brush I wasn't paying attention to that <laughs> An enemy has been slain. nice one. Oh, didn't mean to unset that up but that's fine and now we actually start maxing Q because that is overall our DPS and obviously the lower the cooldown in it the stronger we can stack you can see just how strong for our lane phase the points in W have been. Uh, Blitzcrank is probably still around somewhere, by the way. Ooh, four stacks from that. I think he's potentially still in the brush. No, okay, he actually did just recall. Okay. Nice, managed to hit her with that Q. Do we want to ult here potentially? Maybe soon, not yet. Need to be ready to flash the Blitz hook in that situation. Ah, damn. Dude, I thought this ping was a killing trap. I was like, holy shit. Why is there a killing trap there? Should I do it? I think I'll do it. Okay, that's one kill. And I might be able to kill in here too. I managed to get a crit. 
She's also ghosting. She won't get away though. Lovely, perfect. We love to see it. Awesome. Don't have as much DPS as I would have if I had actually max W or sorry max Q, but we do have so much burst though. Now for these minions, I don't even have to. Actually, for the entire wave, I can just boom. So easy. Are you losing tomorrow? To I don't. I don't want to flame people, but I don't think the Celestar should be talking. He's not been playing ideally either. Surely it is no vision. Okay, apparently it didn't. <laughs> All right. Uh, now we'll go for Navori. So kind of awkward to have all this leftover gold. A lot of the time in this situation is Navori. Uh, when going for Navori, I'd just go for whatever, whichever combination of items allow me to spend the most gold. So I would go for like pickaxe and double longsword. But I think Smolder really values CDR, right? So maybe just like prioritizing CDR over the maximum amount of gold spent could be ideal. Unlike on most of the champions, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just theorizing. It does feel bad either way to have to leave so much gold unspent. It's a shame I can't buy anything else there. Kiki's strong now. Yeah, she sure is. <coughs> oh, he intentionally took the last hit, even though he was already going to get the gold anyway. Lovely. I can get all of these with one Q. Ah, close enough. We're actually super close to 1 to 5 stacks, by the way. Oh, what the chef? She, <laughs> she rushed Farkin, and what the hell? Okay. Important to note. Got him. Yeah, let's start strong. You can really see that he's actually just such a good Blisker encounter as well, because Bliss can hook him, but what's the point? Like, Alistar wants to walk into him anyway, and he's not going to kill him. Lovely. Careful, careful. Oh, why did he do that? Ow. Ooh. I think I survived that. Yeah, because her... Ooh. I probably want to actually stay away from her auto attack range. But yeah, her setup may give her a lot of uh, range on her headshots, but it overall does it, like no damage at all besides that. Even her headshots do uh, like a lot less damage with that build than with other builds she could have run. I mean, presumably she didn't have flash, so she probably would have just flashed on me there. And now the big the game becomes more or less easy in terms of stacking. Hmm, how did I go to Alistar? Is there somebody behind us? No, it's Shavana. She is someone, but she's not an enemy, which is more what I had in mind. Alright, perfect. Yeah, there was no reason for him to walk up there. I think maybe he was trying to finish off the Alistar with a hook, but that was too risky. Just left himself wide open for me. Okay, she's trying it. I might be screwed, I might not be, we will see. I'm thinking I'm probably not screwed. Oh, I killed her with an auto. I don't think I could even die to a Kitlin ult here, to be honest. Particularly with this healing that I'm getting, but... She just... Wow, what is that no damage setup she's running? It's very unusual. 
I know some people like have tried Farcon in the past, but I don't know what the hell she's going for overall with this. Um, all right, and this is where I'm gonna like slightly deviate from the build. So there's a lot of like smolder builds that are like being tested at the moment, and pretty much the one thing they all have in common is Shojin. I think Shojin is definitely just incredibly. I wouldn't. <laughs> I guess underrated is not the word because it's the basis for so many builds. But it's super underrated on the main build. Like, the first build that people started running was Essence Shriver into Navori. And I think that build is good. But I also think people are just underrating how good Navor uh, how good Shoujin is on it. People are only really running Shoujin on, like... Um, uh, like, Bruisery setups. Like, with Triforce build. With um, the Leandri's Riftmaker build. But I think it's really good on this build as well. Because it just gives you so much CDR. It's like, re it's really insane for your damage output while also making you tank here. It obviously makes it a whole lot easier to stack your Q as well with how spammable your abilities become. So, the other standard third items at this point are Fire Cannon and Bloodthirster. Those are fine as well, but personally, I want to prioritize the Shojin here so we can show that off. Should be joining in here, actually. I, sh I should never have been hitting the turret there. It doesn't uh, backfire in this case, but yeah, no point being alone there while my team is doing this. That was just my ADHD brain looking to hit the first thing that comes close to me. Okay, it's Ke ideally Kiana goes blocked here. It's kind of hard for me to even try and siege this, but I can get like one auto off, I guess. And maybe, yeah, I got a Q off. Ow, it takes so much damage from that, though. We got a lot of sustain, though. Even without the Doran's Blade. Smolder's sustain is actually really crazy with his Q. Because the HQ bounce counts as a auto attack. Especially, I, I don't know if the bounces do actually, but the, at least the AoE from his Q. When we're interacting with champions, we also get a lot of fleet healing, too. <laughs> That's doing very little damage now. It does fall off pretty heavily since you don't continue to build AP. Well, I wouldn't say heavily. Like, I do get a lot of passive stacks. Maybe it would have done a lot more damage. Oop, I gotta be careful here. Might have to flash. No, I'm good. Um, it maybe would have done more damage if you didn't have bone plating, for example. Alright, I just gotta respect the fact that Annie can easily one on me, so we just back off. The Bliss is also clearly potentially trying to look for a flash play here. So we're just not gonna entertain that. Eventually, Annie will shove this in. I missed like one CS, two CS there for restoring some respect. It's okay. Okay, so I'm actually gonna start putting points into E now, though, instead of W, because even if it does fall off, like, even if it doesn't fall off that hard because of your, uh, like, the damage it gets from stacking your passive, um, overall, I would say that it's still more useful to have the extra mobility from your E. Annie also potentially looking for a flash play here. Oh. oh, I got her. Huge. Oh, the fight is still going. I'm gonna pop ghost and use my E. Oh, the one guy I actually went for didn't die. Like, well, I, I was trying to get the Hui and also the Bliss Crank, but uh, whatever, works out. We're on 2.15, we're ab about uh, 10 stacks away from that ultimate power spike. The one we've all been waiting for. Okay, we got it. And I can also just finish off this turret real quick. Everybody's dead, so the death timers are just not enough to save this turret. Perfect. And now we can get out of here. Doing really good for farm. I'm uh, actually about 50 cess ahead of Caitlyn now when we came out of lane phase. Pretty even. I think Smolder is definitely like one of the easiest ADCs to farm on. The wave clear just gets really high really fast. It's like up there with like Jinx, Sever. But, ov but obviously, you have even more incentive to actually look for farm compared to them as well, because of your stacking. 
You not only have the more or less same level of wave clear, but also the more incentive to actually use it. So this, you know, you should be trying to get really high CS on Smolder in pretty much every game. Uh, let's just go for Blitz. Okay. We're going for the Fire Cannon now, by the way. That's going to allow us to get some really high range Qs. Which is super nice combined with the Fire Cannon, uh, with, sorry, with the Fleet as well. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, thank God. They, that was actually a buff specific to this patch where you can actually like turn that boss where you didn't used to be able to. Oh, look at that damage from like just a W and a Q, man. It's absurd. Anyway, we're currently sitting on 78 ability haste and that is without counting the 15 extra ability haste we're getting from... Our basic from um, Shojin on our basic abilities. Uh, I really should have lost it that with my thingy. There we go. I'm also go for this. The damage on E is pretty bad, but it's mobil like as a mobility tool, it's actually really, really good. And it does get really spammable as we put points into it, which is why we switched to maxing it once we're done maxing Q. Then maybe ult there? I mean, I could, I just don't think it's gonna kill Blitz, so... Lovely. I, haven't, I don't remember ulting much this game. I usually use it a lot because it's actually really spammable. I've just felt like I've had very little reason to use it here. Maybe now? Okay. Okay. It's a Vi coming for me. Or for... Oh, jeez. Nice one. Oh. Get me out of here. I don't want to get one shot. GG. Alright, so this game we're going to be testing the same build again. Mainly because I think um, our team was doing pretty well that game. So it wasn't necessarily like a... Um, an amazing showcase of how good the Shojin was. Although I think, I think it was doing like a lot for us in that game. We're able to actually one shot the backline really fast. I think that might have been thanks to Shojin, since it also does do uh, extra ability damage, of course, this season. Beautiful. We get three lost hits from that and a lot of damage on Tezreal. But definitely in other games in this video, we are going to be. Testing some of the other smolder builds as well. Oh no! I gotta say, I don't think smolder is balanced right now. I think I think I'm I think I might have thought that maybe smolder could be balanced uh, before people discovered this whole hook W playstyle, but the fact that this playstyle makes you such a strong lane bully while not actually reducing the amount of stacks you get and making you scale insanely into the late game like the fact that you can just so easily win lane while also scaling the lane opponents is just absurd you know oh maybe a bit too forwards here i really thought it would go in forwards and lost at that Oh well. No idea if that hit him or not. <coughs> Actually, I could have checked my sex to see. Not important though. I'm just curious. We may as well loss hit with Q if there's nothing else going on, but generally I would rather loss or sorry, I'll poke champions with that. Ah, damn it. Nice. Thanks to the flame movement speech, you can't actually get him range. Nice. I think I'll actually almost missed that again. Okay, with aiming it a bit better. That's just absurd damage. We put a second point on our W 
instead of in E at level 3, because we're spamming W so much, we want to do as much, as much damage as possible. We're not really using E, particularly in a matchup like this. Maybe if the enemies had more all-in power that we have to be afraid of, then maybe we could consider the point in E. But it's definitely not necessary here. Oh, man. I've also got cookies here, by the way, if I want to get more mana to harass with. I don't find it worth using overheal if you're going to be... Sorry, uh, not overheal. Um, presence of mind. If you're going to be... Uh, rushing Essence Reaver anyway, it just feels like a huge waste when he has so much synergy with overheal. But the cookies themselves are really good for early on. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that is probably him worth him using E just to dodge that. Alright, we got Zenzel. Bot side. That is so lazy that he's not even trying to gank, by the way. Holy crap. The gank for his bot lane would be huge for him right now. I actually managed to do a little bit of damage to Edgewell there with my W because of the explosion. And if I had hit both of them, they both would have taken double explosion damage. Whoa. If he's hit by that, yep, he's dead. <laughs> you gotta be really careful about that against Smolder, man. Alright, um... Hmm. It's entirely possible since I could still be bot side. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there he is. Should stay away from Zinzel. This is a bit of a shame that I don't get to finish crashing that. I'm not sure. Sen can Senna even tank this though? Hmm. It was smart of her to use W on the costers. Yep, smart. Because that actually meant that she could walk out of their range and they stopped hitting her, and that's the only reason she was able to even somewhat freeze there, but in the end, it's still not really that effective of a freeze. She was actually too low. It needed to be Zinza that did it. Anyway, we are already at the first breakpoint of Q. I'll put one more point in Q. Wait, how did I miss that? Oh, that's all the coster's gone. What the hell? That's not what I was trying to do. Kind of wasted a cookie here, actually. Is Hoi even doing anything? Yeah, he must be, surely. No way I'm trading 1v2 there. <laughs> How did that not hit her, though? Mainly using Ghost so I can try and dodge more effectively, but what is Senna doing here, by the way? Ah, I missed, God damn it! Ah, uh, my bad if I hit that W. Definitely needed to way walking more forwards there, though. That shouldn't have been a pure 1v2. Ooh. Oh man, I think he's dead as well, unfortunately. Oof, what a disaster. I don't think there's anything I can buy here, is there? It's a shame about the exhaust, because I was aiming to kill Senna, but I just did not have the damage after that exhaust. Uh, Hui was pretty low in all fairness. I don't, there's not much else he could do. I definitely needed to land that W. That was a bit unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. But he never lets me prove them all. I'm not aiming to stay in lane too long, but I do need to at least uh, get two waves. I'm kind of surviving this too fast.
Okay, we know Zinzal's bot side, we need to start running already. Oh, not just a Zinzal, apparently. Need to flash in advance. No point ulting because the fight is over. At least I love though. Wait, seems like he just uh, straight up did not notice that uh, the Drake announcement happened. Or he didn't think of the implication. It would be risky to stay here, but... Well, it's not necessarily risky, but like, like I mean, I can easily stay here, but... I really also want to spend my essence over gold, because that is a huge cross spike. Ah, oh, fuck it, the way is back in the lane. I'm definitely not trying to fight into this wave, but we do have our jungler on the way. I should have ulted immediately, by the way. Nice one. Don't want to overchase. We don't know where Zinzao is. Okay, we get most of those. That's fine. Um, hmm. So I, th I think it was actually like only maybe 10 CS ahead of Ezreal recently. I don't know what happened, but I swear he's just got like no farm recently. So I'm actually more like 24 CS lead. That's nice. <clears throat> First thing I generally prioritize after Essence Reaver at all points is always just Ionians, pretty much no matter how much gold I've got. The CDR is just immensely valuable and smolder for stacking. Come on, speed helps as well. Might as well use my E to dodge that. It's well worth it. His ult does a lot of damage if it lands. <sighs> the poke is just absolutely ridiculous, man. Okay, we go with the ult. Oh no, Wizen's out here. Okay, good thing I noticed in time to back off. Jesus. That should have been a solo kill. Should have been a solo kill 100%. They oh. Damn it, I might be dead here. Okay. Huge. Yeah, I think they did that regardless of Zao being around. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they, maybe they were trying to bait, but that was stupidly close to dying without me even having to go in. Okay. And now we base. Don't have much to base for, but I do need to get some HP back. Base damage increase on your W, by the way, is uh, like every time you level it up. So you get 20 points in the initial hit, and then, uh, sorry, not 20, not 20 points, uh, 20 damage. And then 15 extra damage as well in the explosion. So anytime you hit the champion, you get minimum the initial damage and the explosion. So basically you add them both up as the minimum. Um, so that is 35 damage increase per level. Then the reason why I say minimum is because it happens to hit two champions. You know, two champions can get, or a champion can get hit by two different explosions if the, if the W happens to hit in an, in an AOE. So now the potential increase would be um, 50 damage per level. So it's a lot potentially. Well, if I knew Senna was going in, I would have just ulted her. That's fine. It's a shame that I can't do much to her there. Smaller ult is not on that long a cooldown, so that's fine to do it like that. We also even get sustain from it going through us, so... Don't hesitate in using that, particularly in the mid-game onwards. Ooh. Ah, should have dodged that, my bad. Yeah, particularly in the mid-game onwards. 
Because you'll have so much ability hits from items. Yeah, actually, we need to be a little bit cautious here. Careful way. And I have E to immediately follow up if they engage on them. Should have actually aimed. Ooh. It just cost me that for no reason. But I should have aimed my Q at the highest HP minion so that the Essence River would go on the one that needed the most damage dealt to it. Um, this is really awkward because. I guess we should help, but at the same time, it's such a huge waste compared to going to these guys. But if Zinn is doing Drake, we have no choice. Okay, Zinn no ult, but I can't go in there, so. Oh, he wasn't meant to immediately turn on me. <laughs> yeah, that's a flash, or a W flash, sorry. That's the thing you can do on Smolder. Flash to redirect the W. I don't think my ult would kill here, but I may as well try it, because, oh. Okay, we do at least damage to Ezreal. I was also hoping it would hit Senna, so the exact moment that I cost it, oh. The exact moment that I cost it, oh god, he's going for me, uh, Azir, I think. Ah, so annoying. The exact moment that I cost it is the exact moment that Senna also just randomly happened to move downwards, so that's a little bit unfortunate, because I was aiming for both of them. Uh, whatever. My crit chance just didn't increase my Q damage, even though it's supposed to, I believe. Well, at least it doesn't increase it on the tooltip. Damage is increased by 30% critical strike chance. Yeah, but I guess it doesn't state the increase you get on your Q from crit chance, which is annoying. Because you do get that on, um, on like, server Q, for example, and Zaya E. They both skill with crit chance and tell you how it's increased by when you actually buy crit chance. Oh, nice. We've hit our breakpoint without me noticing. Going for a quick Q poke, boom. Oh, Senna's dead. Question is, where's Zenzel? I do not know, but hopefully not here. But I definitely cannot keep pressuring Ezreal right now, as long as I don't know where Zenzel is. So we're gonna rotate. So nice! Holy shit! I just got so many stacks from that. It's only the small ones, so. Uh, Junglers only get more gold and more XP from those camps when it's the big monster. Smaller monsters, I personally, as an ADC, don't have a problem stealing them. I, and as a jungler, I would also not mind too much. Doesn't really matter who much, too much who takes them, so long as you know somebody on our team gets them. And obviously, a smaller, you just get more value for them than a jungler does. Therefore, uh, I. I'm really close to having Navori, so I want to stick around for that. Maybe we should go top here, defending against the Zinzal. I'm gonna ask if Zinzal has ult, because it could be a pretty big difference for us here. But I'm assuming he probably does have it. Okay. Not too much to do there, then. Wait, actually, I really should get this cannon. No! <laughs> I won't stay for the, like, the full wave, but I do need... Okay, pretty much that's enough. I can sell refillable for this. Definitely not worth waiting for the gold. We can just sell the refillable. That's perfectly fine. I do wonder, though, whether I shouldn't just switch to um, either Presence of Mind or Triumph on Smolder, so long as I'm not running the Doran's Blade setup. Because with Doran's Blade, you can definitely stack it over here, like, super early on, as soon as you get the 25 stacks. But because you don't have the 3.5% lifesteal, it doesn't actually feel as worthwhile now. Nice one. Still get a lot of really nice healing from Fleet, but not necessarily hey, Mom, crazy synergy with the overheal. Thought I saw a word there. Okay. <clears throat> I smell heat 
Okay, so my entire team right now is pretty much topside. Makes the most sense for me to just be hanging around topside. Like, if any of the enemies or, like, if any of our team make a play, it's going to be around topside. So whenever I'm, like, hanging around between waves, uh, it, like, rather than hanging around, like, smack bang in the middle of the lane, or even hanging around, like, towards bot side, I obviously want to play towards topside. So we finish shoving in that wave. We go here. I can also pick up this red buff, obviously. And maybe my team wants to make a play there. Maybe I'm even greeting going for this red buff. But yeah, my team wants to make a play here. I'm going to try and follow up. Play should also be headed there. We can clearly do something here. That's why mid pro is so valuable. Because we get to move for a play like this faster than the enemies do. Or if they try to move before us... Ooh. If they try to move before us, then they are at least losing mid lane CS for this. I should be arriving mid lane in time to continue picking up farm here. I don't think we can do this. This doesn't feel smart. I'm gonna go mid. I don't think we have enough of an advantage to really do that. Oh. Oh, fuck me. I'm gonna get a heal from this. That's fine. That's fine still. Small heal. No! I just barely didn't have E. God damn it, that's so annoying. I think he guessed. I don't think that was a reaction to me appearing in vision. I was just a little bit unlucky. Fuck me, man. Look at my E cooldown there, by the way. If I just had the speed boost from E at the very start, this ability is not ready to cost yet. I would have dodged that, man. Fuck, I was like, I was thinking that my W was up. Oh, well. It would have been worth using flash just to save my life there. I was only thinking about the center though, I was not thinking about a random pre-used Azure ult. He was trying to guess where my recall was, but I wasn't recalling. No bud. I could try and chase her down with Ghost, I think I'll do that. I hit her. Fuck it, we'll use the ult for it. Nice. Remember, the ult is also a slow. So it's really, really good for engaging, chasing people down. Yeah, we can absolutely do Drake. That is fine. Getting really close to 225 as well. God, this is going to be so much smoother once we get Shojin. I think then we can do like a smooth auto Q, auto Q, auto Q pattern. At the moment, this like a really awkward one where I don't really have time for two autos, but there's definitely like a huge break between the first auto and my next Q. It's just super awkward. It's not smooth at all at the moment. Can't Q this turret. It feels bad, man. What is he doing? Team? It's old, uh, like Quay? What the fuck, man? <laughs> that is so absurd he goes for that, and it's more absurd that nobody noticed or felt it worth trying to punish. Like, what was the gain from there? Like, he didn't have his team with him. He wasn't trying to kill me. He was just harassing at great risk for no reason. Can we do some damage? Oh, hello! Yeah, that sucks. Maybe I could have tried to flash upwards here, but I was kind of screwed. I didn't notice this until flanking me. Uh, no, we don't want to prioritize this. Even though we do love ability haste, I think we do prioritize AD. Over HP. Was he just hiding in the bush for ages? Oh, no, 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 no. He just... I apparently am blind. Yeah. He just randomly walked into that bush. Yeah, dude. I was just too focused on the fight below. He is very clearly up there. I just... But because my screen was so focused on these guys, I could have only seen it on the map. That sucks. I need to prioritize going for mid lane farm here, but then I can try and help my team there. Oh, it's just crazy wave clear. Okay, that's done. I need to help my team then. Raptors are insanely valuable to go for a smolder, by the way. So many Q stacks between waves. Like on every ADC that can clear Raptors, it's it's nice to go for Raptors, right? But in smolder, it's like so huge. Ah, damn. Didn't even get that. Oh. Mm. 
Mm, unfortunately, I'm just dead, I think. Damn. I could have pl played it slightly better. Maybe dodging his W would have saved me. But it's not too bad. We do at least get him killed. Would have preferred to live. But anyway, it's definitely worth selling Durin's Ring here, I think. We're not doing too much with it. If, it was, if this was Durin's Blade, I would probably hold on to that. Durin's Blade skills like crazy. But once you actually stop, uh, you know, uh, using that W... Uh, poke heavy playstyle in lane. That's when the Doran's Blade would actually start to outscale. Uh, or may basically, Doran's Ring would just fall off really hard because at the moment it's just not doing too much to us. We have so many P ratios, obviously, but they're not massive. And now that we're not just spamming the fuck out of W and that pretty much being our only play pattern, it's just not really doing much. So, we'll sell it. Doran's Blade, on the other hand, with its, like, Obviously, uh, I was going to say insane HP. It, it is insane HP. Obviously, Doran's Ring also does give some HP, so that would have been valuable as well. But we're not getting the 3.5% lifestyle is the main thing that I really love about Doran's Blade. And 10 AD probably would also do more for us at the moment, I think. But mainly the, last, the lifestyle is really crazy on it. Mm, I'll go for the whiff. That's a word there as well. Oh yeah, now our cooldown on Q is so, so crazy good. Like, you guys notice it, right? Like, if you haven't tested this, just test it once. And I assure you, as soon as you get to the Shojin, third item, you'll be like, oh my god, this feels so right. It's weird to use it on a crit build, but that's just how Smolder is. He's just so crazy reliant on ability haste. And the, the only ability haste items we are actually building at the moment are just ones that... You know, they gave ability haste, and that is why this build works so well on Smolder. Then after that, you may as well continue following it up with crit chance, but it's not necessarily, like, the only items you can build on this build. We're only building crit items, incidentally, not because we actually want the full crit build, not because, like, Smolder synergizes insanely well with crit, you know? This could be quite good, I'm gonna ult. Okay, I didn't actually get to do much there, my bad. Eh, I'm not gonna kill him. It's not bad, though. I can go for Raptors here. It's gonna lifestyle me up a little bit. Also give me some stacks. And now I'm ready to fight again. Unfortunately, I can't actually hit anybody here. There's two people here. Neither of them are targetable for me. Oh my god, her damage. I'm gonna pop Ghost. Alright, she's dead. He's just gonna... E away, that's fine. Wait, what? I used Q on him. I was gonna say, that's fine. I'll just Q him for some stacks and for some poke. And then he just didn't get hit by it. Even though I threw it at him. <laughs> Weird. I think the cost must have technically been cancelled by him going out of range, but the visual still went off. I guess is what happened there. I gotta heal. I'll do some damage. That's fine. I would eat in for some poke there. It's just not worth the risk there. <laughs> Maybe if I had parking on range. Ah, uh, but there's still such a really awkward break between oop, auto and Q. I don't think there's any getting around that. Oh my god. He uh it's quite tanky and damagey. Oh well. At least he flashed for that. Ooh. Does she live? I think she does. Nice one. Ooh, you know what would actually be really good here, though? The Ezreal build. The Ezreal setup. The Ezreal... well, the Ezreal item, really. Frozen Heart. Till now, Ezreal is pretty much the only ADC this has been viable on, but... Why not Smolder? We also really want the ability haste. And if this is always being such a huge problem, and even Ezreal himself could potentially be a problem for me. He does a lot of damage. We just build Frozen Heart and we'll stop taking damage. Then I can also combine this if I want with Shield Bow instead of Farkannon. We'll miss out on the uh, synergy between um, Smolder and Farkannon. But for... Uh, for the synergy, for, you know, getting a lifestyle item just to make sure we got something there. And also combining that with the synergy between Tankiness and Frozen Heart, then that would also be really nice. Alright, uh, we'll just join our team by pushing bot. We'll join them through bot. We'll keep on pushing bot. 
and then rotate mid after the last wave. Or we just keep on pushing this turret. My team looks to be basing, so there's not much to join here. So we'll probably just keep on pushing them. <laughs> Why did it make me path around the wall? <laughs> Initially. Nice one. Uh, we could do that. I think we should. We'll shove one wave and then we can consider doing that. But he can stop using his wave clear, by the way. I don't need help wave clearing at this stage. Heals for supports in general. A lot of supports do this. Like, Lulus will randomly use their Q on the minions when you're playing, like, late game Jinx and accidentally steal some minions. Or late game Sivir. And it's like, bro, I'm late game Jinx. You do not need to help with wave clear. You're wasting your mana at worst, risking stealing CS. Or, wasting mana at best, risking stealing CS at worst. This is fine, we can finish this. Oh, this is, uh, okay, Kha'Zix left it. We're gonna have to leave it. We don't have a smite anymore. Okay, that's our E down. That's fine. Either way, I can just jump in. Wow, she is worth no gold. They're not on this Baron, are they? Our vision disappeared, but no, it doesn't seem like they're on it. I think we can still do it. One thing that could be nice about Farcanon though is just making it a lot smoother to do like Q, auto, auto, Q, auto, auto. Because at the m it doesn't seem like we actually ever really hit a, a CDR breakpoint. Hang on. We can, we can hold down this corridor to make this easier to chase. Oh. Maybe I didn't really quite aim that right, but it's still slow to zero, I think. Yeah, unlike Ezreal, we never get to the smooth Q, auto, Q, auto breakpoint, so. May as well get some attack speed later on, I guess. It's another benefit of Fire Cannon. It's just doing that a lot smoother. So yeah, I think I will actually do Fire Cannon instead of Shield Bow. Oh, right, I'm getting burned. Did I just nearly kill Gwen with just my ult or what? What? Bro. Okay, I got her. I'm tanky. Oof. That's fine. I don't think I'm hitting the fountain here, but I'm so close to dying even without it. Jesus. <laughs> I can't quite kill a zero on the fountain, so that's fine. Okay, that is how I would have built his frozen heart into fire cannon. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Smolder. This game playing Smolder Janna into Vayne Yumi. Should be a fairly decent matchup. We're once again starting with the Doran's Ring. Uh, this game we're going to test a slightly different build though. Uh, it's going to be Shojin into Riftmaker into Leandris. Uh, the reason we're building all three of those items is because they either like amplify our ability damage by a percentage or amplify all of our damage by a percentage, which is the same as amplifying our ability damage. So it's just all about getting the maximum damage possible out of Smolder's Q, out of his burn, out of all, all of his ability, abilities, because we know that he doesn't do too much damage from auto attacks. Uh, I'm, I'm still starting W in this matchup, but I feel like maybe I should actually just start... Uh, max, oh, damn. Uh, maybe just max Q second, or sorry, Q first though. Because Vayne can have potentially have a really easy time dodging my Ws, and I, I can't even go for her support in this matchup, because apparently her support is AFK. I was going to say because her support is Yumi, but also Yumi is AFK, so that's two different reasons why I cannot poke her support. So, if I if I can only poke Vayne, and Vayne has a really easy time dodging my W, you know, she's not doing it right now, but her Q will get a lower cooldown throughout the game, then maybe it just makes some more, more sense to max Q this time, you know? That makes sense to me. Does it make sense to you? Ah, damn it. I think the cannon doesn't make sense to me. 
See that? That would have hit anybody else. She was walking right into it. I throw it the most perfect way possible, and it just doesn't land. So yeah, th I'm thinking I'll probably want to put more points in Q than usual. <clears throat> Do you see anything fun up there? Look, that would have hit her. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we're going to put our points in Q, that's fine. Maybe... A point this early was not worth it, though. But I'm anyway, yeah, kind of awkward that Yuma's AFK. How is this not a remake, by the way? Like, it should have already been a remake? Weird. Might have to show this game at the back of the video. It doesn't get more interesting soon. I'm thinking we just shove this wave in base. Pop a cookie for some mana. Perfect. Alright, can base now. Don't have quite enough for the full call fields, but I will have enough for a double long sword. And this thing, so that's probably decent enough. Dude, this is crazy they didn't remake. If if they actually remade, I could just ign ignore this and pretend like this game never happened. But if it's an actual full game, I really don't like skipping games in these series. So I have to put it somewhere in the video. But I'm not going to put it at the front as, as the actual third game. If it's going to stay this uninteresting. I just hope Yumi comes back soon. It's not too bad if she comes back soon. Or who knows, maybe it, com maybe it becomes a more interesting game later on as well. We're doing very little damage right now though, even with, the, with one extra point in Q. Like how much does the damage increase again? Only by 10, it is so ridiculously low. Most of the damage comes from the stacks. And from Sheen when you get that, but we don't have it. This is like the worst... Come to think of it, this is the worst game for me to be testing this particular build. But uh, it is what it is. Because the Sheen effect would be so good for bullying Vayne here. And yeah, that is one thing. Is I don't think you necessarily have to put uh, like 2 to 3 points in W every single time. I think it's usually the best choice. You'd have to do it every single time if you actually think you will get more value from just spamming Q on the enemies. Oh nice, we've hit that 25 stacks. Like particularly Yumi lanes, especially if the ADC can easily dodge the ability, it just makes probably more sense to max Q, right? Still, even against Vayne, we're getting some value from this. Oof. She should base. <clears throat> Looks like she actually based. I mean, I suppose we could just test the build as usual. It's not like I'm running a different... Well, I mean, I'm running Presence of Mind, which is definitely wasted if I go Essence Reaver. Nah, we'll just stick to the build I wanted to test. At the very like it's a scaling build anyway. It's not supposed to be for lane. Uh, potentially, it could be interesting this game where my team is actually starting off as zero and three. <laughs> eh, it could be an interesting game. We'll see. Smaller Q does also get more powerful with AD, of course. It, you know, skills with AD exactly as an auto attack would. 
Just doesn't scale with crit, does not attack wood. Okay, so at the moment we're also dealing 15 extra AD with Q with our passive. Mm, should have beat away sooner. This should be fine though, right? Oh, she's level 7 and I'm not. Jesus, wait, this is actually such a bad trade. What the hell? We just noticed that. God, she has such a massive XP lead. Because we don't have the kind of ball in that can dive or a zoner from XP or anything. We've, we've just made her miss some farm. Like, I'm 30 CS ahead, but I do... Like, 30 CS ahead or not, I do not win two levels down. That is just how it is, you know? Just gonna go. Nice one. Okay. Not sure I really wanted to risk chasing without Janna. And with Ari around. Is Mikey one shot these now? Yes, thank god. One thing that I do like about doing non essence river builds, since I have run a couple of these, is it's a lot more consistent to actually get AoE uh, stacking with your Q. Because one really awkward thing about doing essence river or any kind of sheen build, or you know, just building sheen, is that suddenly the main target of your Q takes a lot more damage than the other targets. So if you if you're Sheen uh, happens to kill that one minion, but leaves the other two intact. It gives you less reason to even try and use your next Q on these minions, because you're only going to get two stacks from it. So it's like really inconvenient, but if you focus, if you do a build that does maybe less damage overall, but the damage that it does do is like equally concentrated onto every minion, it just makes stacking so much more convenient. <coughs> nice. Okay, Vayne is not a, maybe not exactly roaming. She is roaming, I think, actually. She's definitely not bolting anyway. Oh, and Janna just randomly dies to her for no reason. Huh. Okay. It may turn out to be an interesting game yet. Wait, this could even be a loss, honestly. I would not be shocked. 4v5 losses can happen. Especially if the guy who's been 1v2 all game is suddenly just 1-1-1 one, one, and one for some reason. Okay, nicely done, Karma. 1v2 even, damn. Hmm, do I max E second or W second? I want to say E second should be better. Even though we're doing a build that really amplifies ability damage. Ooh. It's mostly about our Q. Maybe I should play that more aggressively, actually, with Janna coming. That's fine. Running presence of mind, by the way, with this build, of course, since we're not using Essence Reaver, we definitely need more mana than just what Smolder naturally has. Even with a low cooldown, or sorry, low mana cost and Q, we still use up a lot of mana with how much we spam abilities. Alright, what was the second item here again? Riftmaker. I believe that builds... Out of Fiendish Codex. It sure does. Perfect. Okay, so the Q does not get too much damage out of AP, unfortunately. It scales 15% with AP. Like I said, though, the W does scale pretty heavily with AP. And what about E? So e actually does not scale with AP at all. The ult, on the other hand, does scale pretty heavily with AP, so that's nice. But it's mainly not about the AP, though. Like, this at the moment is just a little bit of an awkward component. It gives us ability haste as the main thing. Mostly it's just giving us da uh, damage on our W. Oh. Do I need to ghost as well? I don't think so. Not bad. That was actually a good trade. While also not costing me anything big while it costs her her ghost and her ultimate. Nice. <coughs> But the main thing is when we get Haunting Guys for this extra damage. And also Rift Maker for the same extra damage. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna be rotating mid now. Karma's ball for whatever reason. <laughs> They're really early, but that is what I want anyway to swap lanes. They really want me. Whoa, okay. Thank God I get so much movement speed for my E that I could actually dodge that charm. I was not expecting that level of commitment onto me. See, we're not doing too much damage right now. This is not... Oop, not an early game build for sure. It's gonna get... Ooh. I just wasted Q, but that's fine. I wasn't expecting him to turn that either. Jesus, these guys are so aggressive. Wait, that's an AP Jax. What the hell? Surely that's not good. Probably not. Personally, though, I'm not actually 100% convinced this build is better. Like, I think the main thing that carries this build is that it uses Shoujin, right? I think Shoujin, uh, as I've been saying, is super underrated on Smolder. So, like, people have realized that it's uh, underrated to the point where they're like, Oh, you know what? A build focused on Shoujin is actually not bad. Like, we can do Shoujin, we can do Riftmaker afterwards, we can do Leandries, and that build works. But I don't think that's actually as good as just doing the crit build and just adding Shoujin to it, as we did before. That is the build that I think is best, but... I've not really experimented enough with this one either. Hey mom, where are the fire thing is next to my ears Oh, okay. Okay, we've hit two two five. No, one two five, sorry. This would be ridiculously early to hit 225 at. I might add a mana already, by the way. Okay. Whoa, that was aggressive from Karma. This is that Maligma, but I'm not sure that would have killed Bane. <laughs> Ah, uh, nice. We got Riftmaker already. This build also doesn't give the like the craziest amount of CDR either. Like it does get obviously it has Shojin, so that gives you know plenty. But Riftmaker's 15 ability haste, not insane. And then we followed up with uh, Leandrius, which doesn't give any ability haste at all. I do think ability haste is overall the most important stat on Smolder. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I just want a base up to shoving one wave. Thank you. Oh my god, we have actually about 10 CS per minute. I mean, it's normal, right? We're laning 2v1. But it's nice to see. Very satisfying. Alright, what do we... Oh, right, of course. We haven't finished Landry's yet. Can't remember what we build after Landry's, though. Let me consult that. I don't know if I've even reached after Landry's with this build yet. Okay, most people do Far Cannon. That doesn't make sense to me, to be fair. I can't imagine any other item really being more effective, unless... Maybe Frozen Heart, sure, if I actually need it. We could consider it, but it, there's only Riven and Bane. There's no AP... There's no AD Jax, obviously. Mana is also kind of annoying here. I mean, so Essence River, I suppose, could also be good, for sure. As a fourth item. In fact, even as a third item, <laughs> that guy just... I don't know. I don't know if Landers is it. But it should synergize really, really well with a 2 to 5 upgrade. Because it's going to start synergizing with Smolder as if we're like Brand or something, you know? 
Not quite as good because the burn doesn't last as long, but, you know, still quite a bit. I don't want to be stuck bottling here. You know what? It It's fine to give up my turret to Vayne, I think. So long as I am, like, spending that time grouped with my team and making plays. I don't need to, like, be stuck bottling defending this turret just because my team isn't defending it. We'll definitely want to go towards top lane, at least after this wave. Or, no, sorry, the streak is spawning, actually, I hadn't noticed that. <laughs> yeah, stacking definitely feels more awkward. Georgian Rush, I guess, feels okay, but I don't know about... I just don't know about the Rift Maker. And I don't know if I like the Shoujin Rush as much as I like Essence River Rush into Navori into Shoujin. But you could do Shodrum Rush into, like, Essence Shiver. Like, that sounds fine. But I don't know if it's as good as the Billor that we did before, you know? Oof. Can try and go for the enemy Raptors here. Ooh. This is too free not to go for, I think. Gonna pop my Ghost. Ooh, she missed. Molten. No, oh, I couldn't reach her. Oh well. I still got her killed though. But my Q is still not one shotting these, this is so awkward. Um what, yeah, I was gonna say it would be nice if <laughs> Or got with like base or something. You could have also TP'd onto a minion. I was super greedy to TP onto that turret. I guess I do need to be using my W to wave through with this build. Q alone just doesn't seem good enough. Even though it usually would be with the other build. Okay. Putting in a lot of work here. Ow. Ah. Uh. Doing some damage, but we don't want to fight. We don't want to fight. Yeah, molting though. Ah, but I'm out of mana though. Got her. Oh, now I got mana back. Let's go. There's a uh, Ari behind us. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, nice. Come on, kill Jax. Uh, I usually would stick around here to try and find some more farm. I'm really running out of mana though, so I'm gonna peace out. Could stick around for that wave, but I think it's greedy. I just need to spend whatever gold I already have. It's already enough for my two components, so perfect. But yeah, this at the moment this just feels like I'm sacrificing a ton of damage and a ton of mana and even some stacking on my Q just to be tankier. That is the one upgrade of this build as opposed to the other one is that it's giving us 650 HP, which to be fair, it is not nothing. Maybe I am underrating that, but it just doesn't feel as good to me, you know? I really wish this guy would not come onto the same lane on me as, and interfere with my stacking. Sucks. Raptor's up, only the big one. We're doing this so slow as well. We have no DPS with this build, it feels like. But we'll hit that 2 to 5 power spike and then we'll judge it. This is, at the moment, a very popular smolder build. So other people are definitely seeing something in it. Ugh. This is taking forever though, but this this blue will be worth it. Oh come on! Yeah, no, I don't get to do it. That is absurd, man. There she is. What the hell, Riven? What was that? She's not even doing bad, that was just absurd. Ah, uh, I gotta remember, by the way, of course, that Yumi still obviously never came actually actually into this game. I was hoping she might join at some point, but clearly not. It's looking like at this point the 5v4 is just too much for them. Karma's also doing really well as well, to be fair. Even aside from Yumi being gone, she seems to be playing quite well. Just 
wonder why the enemies didn't remake. Maybe it bugged. Also, to be fair, maybe I'm playing this build wrong. Maybe it's also more reliant on the W than I realize because of the fact that W obviously scales the most with AP. Maybe I should be playing a more W spammy playstyle. Like, not in the lane phase necessarily. Because I definitely think Qmax worked out for me better against the Vayne. But maybe, like, I'm supposed to be relying on W more for damage in team fights than I am. <clears throat> Alright, and... So, like I said, I mean, most people are doing Farken in here. Sheen just makes the most sense to me. Sheen and into Essence Reaver. So I'm gonna try that. Because I am running out of mana occasionally. I feel like Essence Reaver would be really helpful. <laughs> nice one. Now we got the Leandry's Burn, which is something. Now, unfortunately, Leandry's Burn, if it kills something, it does not count as Q stacks, even if your Q applied to Leandry's. So slightly inconvenient. We should be focusing on Drake here. one. Okay, we got Twin Hibs down. May as well go for the Baron. Only thing that makes sense here now. Shame that this won't be a proper test, but I think it says a lot though. Like, if, we, if we're absolutely stomping and this build does, it still doesn't feel good to me. To me, this is a lot. After this game, though, I'm going to look up other gameplays of this build and see if there's something that I'm missing. Like, maybe they do rely more on W, maybe there's something else I'm interact- uh, something else I'm, like, missing out on. Nice, we got a blue. Super close to 2 to 5, though. That is when I assume this build is supposed to- at least the Leandris is supposed to spike really hard at that point. I'm at 2 to 5. <laughs> Wait, shit. Okay, we got her. Oh my god, that one shot. Really? Okay, nicely done. Okay, we don't have to finish the Baron here. We, we have no damage anyway, so I recommend just pushing for what we can. Maybe even somebody pushes top. Oh, or he can try an end. That's fine as well. We're still not even one shotting costers, but it feels so awkward. Definitely should be using W more though, for wave cover at least. The pop goes so we can actually make sure we kill Riven. Perfect. I mean, the landers have done nothing, but I haven't really gotten to attack too many people, to be fair. Hey, there's Yumi. Was that just my W on Bane? Surely not. Anyway, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Smolder. This game playing Smolder Leona into Vayne Vercon. Hmm. Their comp is actually like really high damage focus. I might actually try a tankier build this time. Maybe Shrojin into Iceborne is something that I've seen, heard legends of. I haven't actually tried it yet myself. But it could be a good time to try it. There we go. Yeah, once again, it's just that goddamn Bane who can so easily dodge my W. So maybe we just put more points into Q again. Maybe I'll do two points into W though before maxing Q though. Not the full three points, but at least two, because it does still do a lot of damage to Rakana at least. Oh, I thought one of them would would think that maybe I was actually shooting that in the direction they were walking in. And decide to try and juke it by walking at where I actually fired, but no, both of them continued walking in a straight line. Do you see any 
Okay, we hit we're calm with that. No, it's not bad. How did I get the last hit? I thought I messed it up. Ah. That was my one time to hit her since she had no Q. Getting decent stackage though. I could level E here to make it easier on myself to dodge Recon W's, but does not feel worth it with how low mana I already am. I think I'd rather like just tank Recon W's. It's not gonna be a disaster if I get hit by him. I was throwing W. Now I'm throwing W. Right, let's see what happens. I got hit by a W. Does anything happen from that? Not really. Ah, I did get hit by W though. That was annoying. Shouldn't have happened. Yeah, this honestly, like, if th because this is Smolder's like strongest playstyle is the W spam and she can just dodge every single W with a Q, it really does feel like she's actually. Kind of a soft smolder counter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll put my cookie and my potion here a little bit early. Particularly the cookie, because I had grievous wounds on me. It's fine now. Careful, Leona. We don't want to fight there. Maybe we just ban Bane. I've been banning Nocturne on pretty much every ADC because it's just far too popular while being too good against ADCs. But maybe people have stopped playing him as much. Okay, we're being ganked. I think I'm just gonna base here. Hmm, no. It sucks to leave the wave here, but we have our jungler on the opposite side of the map, as far as we know. Obviously, the jungler could be bot lane. I think it would be super greedy to stick around here. On the bright side, I get to spend a lot of gold here, so what Vayne should do with this is she needs to leave this way pushing towards her and base. If she doesn't base, she's going to be laning against me at a huge item disadvantage. She does not want to do that. Because if she does do that, eventually I'm going to force her out of lane, and she's going to have to base, and she, you know, if I force her out of lane, obviously she's basing uh and then she's gonna lose all the farm that i just lost i just basically lost a wave worth of farm all right i'm gonna arrive to six cs i lost the previous wave but if i force her to go out of lane she's gonna miss six cs as well so why didn't she just base anyway i think i guess i should probably try and prioritize poking recon with my w since vein seems like a tough ask at least if her um q is up Alright, I'm gonna start putting points at the Q now. Nice, clean juke. Nice one. Ikazix is back, that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna pop the ghost. That was really weirdly played from Kha'Zix though. Could've just gone on Leona. Okay. Whoa. Nice, I got him. Oh, I should have gone on Vayne, actually. Not bad. Kalu's gonna try and go on me. Got her. I'm fucking dead anyway. Maybe I just wait and see if they make a mistake, Leona. Maybe that's a more reliable choice. <laughs> that being said, I'm, I'm still gonna die here, fuck's sake. <laughs> I do get a shutdown from it, though. That's not too bad. And I think the wave state should probably be good for us. I'll take it. Oh, maybe it isn't. I don't know if Leona messed that up or if I just was wrong. Sucks though if uh, 
Yeah, so Vayne should probably get a CS little roll. Wait, no, no, no. I'm, I'm trolling. I guess the Arcana just died, like, a lot uh, later than their Arcana for some reason. And it fooled me, but actually, we do have more minions overall. Awesome. Uh, she needs to get out of here, by the way. Leona, come on. <laughs> okay, she's fine, she's fine. I got a bit panicked because I knew Kha'Zix was bot side because of the Drake. I guess he wasn't quite in position. Okay, now we're stacking. Oh, I could do with basing for Trojan real soon. Yep, I'm gonna base right now, in fact. So I can get Shoujin. And then I've also got boots coming in like a minute. So this will free up an item slot for that. So we go from 23 ability haste to 28, and also gaining an extra 15 on our basic ability. So that's gonna be really, really nice for DPS, and it's gonna be really nice for stacking. Should have actually checked what the cooldown on my W, or sorry, my Q dropped down to, because that's the main thing. I would guess though that it probably dropped down by like a like a second just from this one purchase. Or at least close to it, maybe 0 0.8 or something. Maybe it's good no one else can understand her. Okay. I should have just used two Qs there, honestly. W is way more mana for achieve achieving the same thing, just a little bit faster. They could be trying to cheese from a brush. Need Leona. Yep. Let's go into the brush. Okay. Thank you. Even once we see the vein, there's always the chance for Khan to be around. In fact, could he also be in this brush? Did she check that brush? Wasn't paying that much attention. Nice one. That's so crazy that we just kill her like that, even though I got CC'd. Whoa, this color is low, by the way. Got him. I got him. Ooh. Hang on. What? Did he just get a shield? No, okay, now he's got the shield. Uh, it's better if I kill him with Q, though, because that way I get the... Um, both the stack from hitting him and also the stack of last hitting, last hitting something with Q. It's funny because you can literally double stack with one ability on the champion if you get the last hit with Q. Oh, meant to last hit that, my bad, with an auto attack. <coughs> Right, and this is a funny build we are going to be testing, but I think it should be fine. It's going to be really good against the Kha'Zix in particular, but also against Aurelia. Should be decent against Vayne. She's probably going for the Lethality build, I guess, not the Trophorus build, so... Uh, armor won't counter her as much as if she went for the Trophorus build, which is more physical damage reliant compared to the on-hit build, which is a lot more true damage reliant. But either way, it should be good. That is a Kha'Zix. There's surely no way that I die here. Oh, I meant to use W. Now it's off. There we go. Shut down, even. Oh, 
Nice. We just got so many stacks from that as well. Not just, not just like won a fight and got kills from it, but we should have got stacks from that, bro. A lot of them. Love it. We don't really have the range to engage on her. I'm running out of mana. Ooh. Yeah, the slam dead. Okay, I'll just base. And I got Iceborne anyway. Does Iceborne do equal damage to every enemy in the field, or...? Is this still based on the primary target? After using an ability, your next attack deals an additional 71 physical damage. Creates a frost field for two seconds that slows by 12%. I, th I think it is just focused on the one target then. So that's a shame, but... Still gonna be nice. Doesn't actually amplify our wave clear though, just our single target damage. I imagine. Oof, she was so close to being hit. Okay, that's an ally. Ooh. I got her, I got her. Oof, barely, Jesus. I'm perma slowing. Oh my, wait, I actually did not even think about that. How could I fail to think about that? The perma slows. That could be quite good, actually. Ah, I was trying to get that. <laughs> Your team has destroyed a turret. I'm not playing. Yeah, I just I need to use W before every wave. It does massively ramp up our mana costs though. But I think trying to fit a tier into this build is a bit greedy. Alright, this is the same build as the Riftmaker one. J we're just doing, uh, <laughs> we're just fucking adding a random Iceborne Gauntlet before the build, so. Unfortunately, this means that I do have to display this game before the Vayne one. The uh, the AFK Yumi Vayne one, I mean. Or, sorry, after. So I have to not do that game lost. Oh, well. Uh, Hui needs the base, so either we don't defend mid or we don't defend bot. So I'm just going to go mid and Hui can go defend bot. So see the way I'm having to leave one wave undefended. One lane. Just making sure he knows. I'm pretty sure he does though. Remember, every ability hit on a champion is stacks. It is really important to play aggressively when you can. Even if I don't feel like I'm accomplishing much here, I am actually getting... Like, if I keep doing this throughout the game, it really adds up. Like, this guy is barely taking any damage. But I am getting so many stacks from just engaging in that level of aggression. That is probably a bit greedy. <laughs> If anything, I would probably like to walk up to someone and queue them, and then just simply E out. But I think it's a little bit greedy, generally, to use your E to go aggressive. You can do it sometimes, I just don't think it's something you can always do. Um, I was gonna base, maybe I actually just wanna run up to this guy? Could have extended? Okay, she's dead. Cool. Mm, actually, if I get one more wave, I can base for hunting guys, so... I want to stick around for this. Oh yeah, it's so easy to stack every single minion of the wave if you just use W. Such a large mana sink though. <coughs>
<laughs> we actually have over 10 stacks a minute now. That's pretty nice. Oh, the only camp on the map that I can go for is Raptors. But I have Vi's going for them as well. Actually, I could. Ah, I wanted to queue the big ones so it would AOE the small ones and call them all. Whoa, what is this guy doing? What the hell? I like how there's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> is he just going bot? Surely not. I think he is. Uh oh. Okay, he didn't reach it, but the Herald is indeed bot, and we do kind of need to defend that, I guess. Could be a Kha'Zix here, yeah. Oh, and there's also an Aurelia, what the hell? But I'm tank smolder, so... Gotta be very careful, okay. Damn, they managed to get the throw, but that's fine. Not too bad, not too bad. A lot of people are running these sort of builds with... Um, fle uh, sorry, with Comet, because that gives you stronger lane phase, but... You just see that you get a lot of survivability in the late game with Fleet, so even if you're doing this W spam playstyle, you don't need to run Comet with it. You can do it if you just want lane dominance, if you want to crush your lane. But you scale so much better. Do I, do I need help with this? Shit, I guess I do. Who's the jungler? Oh, Vi, who is dead. Right, right, my bad. Let's focus on top lane. And also on my explanation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a bit silly of me, my bad. Uh, might have to go bot again here, I guess. Why it doesn't sideline. Would be better if uh, Aatrox would... Oof. See, that's the thing, is I can't actually do much about Aurelia. Like, if Aurelia's in the lane, there's no point in me going there. Yeah, also, also it would be ideal if Aatrox was bot, then I could be top instead. So I wouldn't ha so I could get sideline farm without having to be so extended for it. Since the bot lane one is the more pushed up one. The top lane farm gets pushed up all the way to our inhib, which is super safe for me. Or for Hui, if Hui wants to be the one to farm that. That's fine, so long as it's not fucking me or Hui like, trying to get a farm from here where we can easily be killed by Aurelia. <coughs> oh, we unlocked the... Execute, perfect. I didn't even notice how close we were to 2 5 I guess we'll fight here. Oh, I tried to ult there, but it didn't go off. Weird. You might die of that, maybe? Not quite. Hopefully I don't regret this. I need to at least ult. Maybe it misses. That's fine, just as long as I get the heal. Not even close. Okay. And I'm out of here. I'm gonna at least go for the Raptors and see if this... Helps me get my item at all. I can life still a little bit, not too much though. Can go for the mid lane farm. I think that's safe. It's <laughs> one Raptor camp, bro. Chill. Like if I didn't re uh, recover so much P from that, it would be so much riskier for me to go for mid lane farm, right? So it's, for that for me is not just about getting the Raptors. It's also about getting the mid lane farm, and oop. Okay, we can't actually keep chasing there. <laughs> Can we? Okay, we got that at least. Ooh, there's a vein there. Nice, nice. Alright, I'm out of here. Right, so that, I was gonna say, that wasn't just about the raptors for me, it was also about the middle lane farm. And even just the raptors themselves, they were the only reason why I could have based for hunting guys there. And I didn't end up doing it, because apparently Kha'Zix ended up showing up and we ended up fighting. But, you know, had that very unpredictable thing not happened, I wouldn't have been able to get hunting guys. Or I would have been able to get hunting guys, rather. Because I went for the raptors. And she had, like, every camp of the map up. That's crazy that she got so upset off of one camp. Uh, I can shove one more wave, but that's about it. I'll place a ward there just for some long-term vision, I guess. Huey needs to be very, very, very careful. He's very overextended there. He's probably dead. But we'll see. He killed Vayne, at least. Not bad. It's 
not necessarily not worth if he does die. And he lives as well. Nice one. Alright, I guess I can shove one more wave since we know where it really is. And I'm not expecting to reach there in time to fight, so... We'll just keep pushing for now. I'm getting so many stacks this game, by the way. Like, holy crap, this is an insane amount of stacks. One. Might as well do this just because there's so many stacks to kill this as well, just like the raptors. Maybe the raptors too. I'm. Oh no, they're. You're kidding me, they were on Drake this whole time. Can I still the raptors as well? It feels a little bit greedy because I'm on no mana at all. And I pretty much already got the gold for Leandris anyway, but. Stacks, man. Alright, perfect. Alright, my bad though. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't even think they could do Baron. I wasn't. My mind was not on it at all. <clears throat> Whoa. Perfect. Alright, how much damage did my Landry's do in that short fight? 73. So fucking broken, man. Holy shit. I don't suppose, I don't suppose it's uh, current HP, is it? No, it's max health, okay. Just needs more time to do its work then, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of wards. It revealed all that? Damn. Can go for the blue buff. Whoa. I guess we'll fight. Nice one. Whoa, nice one, Leona. She's dead. Three, three, one stacks this early on, my god. She was gonna try something like that. So I'm not actually. I'm pretty sure I just killed a bunch of those with the Leandris burn, and the Leandris burn doesn't actually give you stacks. Although, actually, I guess it's like a coin flip of whether you're passive burn or whether you're. Andrew's burn is actually what gets the, lo the last hit, but the coin flip isn't ideal. Try and make it back there. Whoa. Jesus. Alright, I am so fucking strong, man. I suppose this build actually does feel good here. Like, it, I don't know about, like, the, whether the damage is as good, but relative to the tankiness, like, what... Dude, look at this. I'm 3,300 HP, 143 armor, yeah, 50 armor, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm actually significantly tanky relative to the damage that I'm dealing. So maybe that's good in that regard. Maybe Iceborne does fit this build better than the Essence Trooper would have.
does help that I, my stacks are absolutely insane this game. I don't even know how I'm stacking so hard this game compared to previous games. But this is absurd. Usually I have like just barely over 10 stacks per minute in the late game only. But I've been well over stack 10 stacks per minute for ages now. <coughs> this could be good. Should be good. Oops. No. No, I could have nearly cuter to execute her. Fuck, my bad. Alright, what do we want next, Farkonnen? Probably. <coughs> Indeed. Well, that's not good. Hmm, what is going to be better here? 50 AP or 30 AD? With the 25 bonus 3 damage. I mean, 25 bonus 3 damage is not a lot, though. I think it's probably going to be the AD that skills better. A soul gun? Oh, crap. That might actually be soul gun. He is right. Let's see what we can do. that gun oh dude there was a tp right on top of me and i didn't even notice oh what you're kidding me that is so crazy i lose vision every time i want to q too okay nice okay that's just soul though it's not necessarily a huge deal i'm on the way but i'm very far away so careful. We could do Baron indeed. I don't want to do Grump, I need more HP. Ooh, this is handy. Uh, this was aimed in the wrong direction. At least it does damage to Rakan. It actually hit Rakan a lot faster than if I'd aimed it right, but that was still not worth <laughs> Not bad. <clears throat> Rakan and poke. Not that effective against Kali, though, especially when he's got his magic damage shield up. Let's do this. <laughs> Look at my stacks. I'm not going to say it out loud, but you guys know. Alright, auto, auto, Q. Wait, do I do three autos between every Q? One, two... Yeah, I guess three is the ideal one. Damn. I think Navori is only two. Nah, actually. Huh. No, I can't do two for sure. Somebody should definitely base. Might as well be me. Oh, damn. Didn't realize that was falling. <laughs> I bet I could have saved that by starting to kill it sooner. I was just lining up my Q lost hits. Okay, at least we're one-shotting costers now. Damn, we really need somebody to pick up the blue. For me. If we don't get blue, that's really awkward for me. Whoa, what am I so slowed by? Ah, oh, dude. Okay, that is so huge. Oh, 
Okay, not bad, not bad. That was really not bad. Ooh, ooh. No way. Is she doing it? No, nah, I'm not gonna get it, sad. Not unless... Ah, oh well. It was a nice try. I appreciate the attempt, Leona. I didn't get a stack from that. That was the Leandries that killed it. But I think the regular burn does give you stacks, is the awkward thing. It's like you have you never know whether the burn is gonna give you stacks or not. Ow. I actually cannot stay here. We need to leave. I'm gonna place a trinket on their blue buff. Okay, that is up, so I want a blue, so I'll go for theirs. Is there anything that I can sell here for like lifesteal? Maybe far I suppose I could sell far cannon. Could be worth it, maybe. What is Vi doing? <laughs> is she seriously blaming me for that when we were clearly retreating? <laughs> My god. Let's see, was she just 1v5? Let me see that on the replay as best as I can. She just, she stayed in their base. Oh, and she started to 1v1 Kha'Zix and she got, wow. And then she blames me even though I was the first to leave. <laughs> oh no. Um. Hmm. That's the only thing I can really sell as far, Kanan. I don't want to sell boots. I don't think I can get away with having no movement speed. I don't like taking lost hits when my t when I'm the per only person on the team that's full build, but like at the same time I still kind of need to stack. Ooh. Maybe I should prioritize just leaving it to my teammates though, to be fair. Nice one. Dude, I barely lifesteal though. What the hell? I thought I don't think the a lifesteal is actually useful if you're not actually building ADC. Huh. Hmm. I guess I have no way to actually properly get sustained then. Or unless I want to do Warmogs. Which, why does that feel like it's actually a better idea than it sounds? Because I definitely have enough HP for it. Actually, I'm healing fine when it's on mini waves, actually. Never mind. Just not on the jungle camps, I guess. Or at least single target ones. Yeah, we'll want to get Elder here. Might as well just steal this first, though. Oh, careful. We shouldn't really be doing this, but I also have, I also feel like we can actually win it, is the, the stupid thing, so... Yeah, I don't know why we just stumped that so hard, but... We just do. I mean, I'm tremendously strong. This actually might actually be a better late game build than the ADC Smolder build. <clears throat> the only thing I miss is the mana. The infinite mana, I should say. Hit the fact that they're constantly burning. Nice. <laughs> well, that I constantly take turret aggro. Just don't want to hit Rakan here. Oh, okay. It's so funny that pretty much anybody who dies, you just get a kill. Like, look how few assists I get. It's because of the execute. <laughs> Alright, GG. Alright, gamers. We are back for another game of Smolder to Diamond. This game playing Smolder Brand into Kaisazyra. Ooh, now, how does Smolder Q inter interact with Zyra Plants, I wonder? Because my assumption is that at least the rank 1 Q should one-shot Zyra Plants. But then it becomes AoE at 25 stacks. Does the, does it becoming AoE retroactively stop it? 
one-shotting Zara plants? Because it, Zara plants only get one-shot by AoE ability, or one-shot by single target abilities. Does it stop being single target? That would be weird, but it would make sense. But anyway, at least until 25 stacks, we can use Smarled or Cute to get rid of Zara plants in fights. Or not even in fights, just like when they're annoying me. And they annoy me a lot. Not a bad trade. Okay, so the rank one does one-shot plants, as expected. It's gonna be that would be more useful once it has a lower cooldown though. At the moment, it's a l little bit too high cooldown to completely spam on that. Oof! I couldn't uh, go behind the minis. That's lucky that she missed. Alright, she's dead. Nice one, Brent. Shame that the kill goes to him, but I'll let him have it. He deserves it. He worked hard for that. We basey basey? I think we basey basey. Looks like Kaisa's basic basic. Can I get something? Pretty pretty please. Alright, what build are we actually running this game? Hmm. I think those are the two main builds. Uh that are being used on Smolder at the moment. Is there anything else that I'm forgetting about? Ooh, so oh, sorry, I can't really do it this game, I suppose. Um, I could. Kind of on the wrong track for it now though. But. There's a build that I was running that I think was actually potentially... Yeah, it, it had potential. I don't know if I like it as much as the other builds, though. Ah. Careful, Brand. Taking a big mini wave there, buddy. Soon we're gonna have the AoE queue and we will find out whether it still one shot Zara plants or not. Oh, just like that. Uh huh. So I actually this is the first time I've actually been able to confirm the new benefits of like when you reach a new threshold from stacks. It actually applies to the ability that gave you the new threshold, which is kinda weird for it to work that way, but nice. We're not we're on a really good pace for stacks, I think. That was a bad miss, though. Decent damage there. Oof. But one more point to w, w, I think. I should have checked. Wanted to check whether my Q is one-shotting or not. I'm really, like, it's not a significant thing, but I am really curious about it. Because I know, for example, that Zeri passive one-shots Zyra plants, and it's such a busted interaction, it makes Zeri completely counter Zyra. Smolder, it wouldn't be quite as overpowered, but it is really useful if your champion just one-shots Zyra plants with a low cooldown ability.
Nice, I can just one-shot crosshairs just like that. Do you see anything fun up there? I guess we'll just run the same build as before, but without the Iceborne this time, and we'll see how that goes. Oh, we've done it one other time, but... You know, that was uh, not a good test, so I can try it again. I did like it this time with the Iceborne, but maybe... Maybe the Iceborne was a key for it feeling good this time. Okay. Goodbye, Ramus. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm just focusing on my stacks, man. Damn you, Kaisa. Oh god, I need to flush out of here. Nice one. <gasps> you also know, also, what the hell? You're kidding me. Where did Ramus come from? I didn't even know he was here, let alone that he was gonna flush down me into the turret. <laughs> Please do not use any AoE abilities there, or hit the wave. That's also just as bad. Nice, nice. Fuck it, I'm gonna sell my refillable for this. I think Ramus is dead there, right? Oh, he came from the lane, okay. That sucks. <laughs> Pretty sure he flashed into me, right? Anyway, I don't think he actually died under turret that Ramus did he. Shame. Okay, I think it does one-shot plants. At least the one that you target. I get two stacks from doing that, by the way, using my E so aggressively. I think that's worth it. The only risk is that, you know, I could get ganked by Ramus right now. I don't even have any vision to place. Oh, I just got a lot of stacks from this overall. Do we have any vision? We, d I mean, we do have wards on the brand, which we should really be using, although... Okay, we see Remus is mid. He's going topside as well, it's good to know. Yes, I one-shot the plants, and it AoEs everything around it as well, which is so convenient. I don't necessarily lose anything for queuing a plant. Three stacks for that trade. Stack for that plant. I want to stack every single minion of this wave. Ideally, Brand wouldn't be aggroing the <laughs> minion wave. Could have got two stacks from this instead of one, but I will. Yeah, I'm pretty much almost at 10 CS, or sorry, 10 stacks per minute. This is crazy. Is it because I started playing more aggressively, maybe? I don't know. Ooh. Got her. Ooh, Brand. No. Baby. You're fine. Wait, don't. Thank you. I meant to hit three of those, but it's fine. Just stop hitting the minions. It can sometimes deny me stacks. Alright, that's enough plating, so I just need the base. Got a big buy here. I need to make sure that I get it. Ooh, of course, there is also, by the way, the Triforce build, which might work better with with the uh, Spear of Shojin than the Navori build does. Or, you know, the Essence Shiver build.
Okay, they're all mid for some reason. I'm just gonna push bot. We got three void grub thingies. So I'm gonna push this a lot faster than I usually would, because usually I would fucking suck at pushing these turrets because I've got no attack speed and I can't queue turrets. But the void grubs put in a lot of work here. Oh. Casting melt. No. If I managed not to get hit by that Kaisa W, I would have been fine. Fuck, my bad. Ramos played it smart though, using his taunt so late. Well, most Ramos' taunts super early. Uh, what was I building this longsword towards? Ah, oh, fuck it. You know what? I can show you the uh, other build. Been, well, it's a style of the other build that I've been running. I'll leave it a surprise as to what my second item is going to be. Obviously, I was meant to actually run Riftmaker second here. Wait, what? Whoa, wait, whoa, I didn't mean to do triple longsword. Fuck, wait, I... Cross the triple longs. That's fine. That works out actually. That's fine. Wasn't what I meant to do, but it does actually work out with the amount of long swords that I want to build with this. <clears throat> okay, one, two, five. <laughs> I just did so much damage to her without meaning to. I was just farming. Whoa. Uh, I shouldn't. <laughs> okay, I faded the ghost. <laughs> Shut down. You have slain an enemy. Oh. They also should just base and go bot. Doesn't even break through a shield. How much does it equal down reduced by when we level it, by the way? It goes down by like five levels. And that's like post ability haste. It's even more when you don't have ability haste. Yeah, it's like crazy effective to max E. Alright, we'll help our team with this. Oh, the these embers, by the way. Super good on small distance, we scale so heavily with ability haste. If you can stack up a lot of them, it's like really nice if you can just avoid dying. So you get to keep them. Because you, you can actually gain so much damage from them. And so much stacking. Well, I guess not so much stacking if you're just one-shotting waves anyway. For the stacking, mainly ability haste is useful early game, I think. It's not useless late game either, though, to be fair. <clears throat> yeah, we are never killing this wave, by the way. This turret, I should say. Could we maybe go for Kaisa? I think we can. Oh, hello. He's coming. Come on, Zyra. Okay, at least <laughs> I got an assist on Kaisa. I also aimed the ultimate that way because I, I was trying to get the Kaisa, but also because Ramus is in melee range of me. So it's actually faster to hit Ramus and myself with my ultimate if I aim it, like, away from us. Rather than if I'm aiming it, like, towards him here, while I'm here. Then the Drake goes all the way from here to here, right? If I aim it here, it goes from here to here. And I just needed to hit them here. Did it, was it actually really an advantage there? Probably not. I think it hit him at the same time either way. But, you know, that can be a difference maker in some scenarios. Alright, and yeah, we're doing second item Eclipse. I was mainly doing this with Mana Moon into Eclipse. I'm not sure if the Mana Moon is really necessary, though, if you're running Presence of Mind. It's nice, but I don't think you actually really need the mana. And I don't... I didn't really feel like the Mana Moon was adding too much damage, so... Since we know Shojin is viable as a rush, yeah, well, I suppose we can do Eclipse into that. Or uh, Shojin into Eclipse, I should say. Oops. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, Ramus. No, oh, you're kidding me. How did he just barely survive that? Fuck, that's so sad. That's so sad if I just didn't get knocked up by him, man. Oh my god. I was so sure I just was gonna have the damage to kill him now. Just one Q, just one Q. I guess that's the Aftershock, right? Yeah, that's the only difference. Maybe a Karma Shield, but I don't think so. Really, man? Like, my, this is the HP when I have Q up and I use Q. And boom. There's nothing. My god. Ah, that sucks. Yeah, Eclipse should be nice. It gives 70 AD, which is an absurd amount. I mean, I think this probably would have been better in lane. I didn't really plan this ahead. It would have been better to do, like, Eclipse into Shoujin. I think it was probably a pretty decent build. Would have given us more laning power, at least. I don't have to finish these Raptors, by the way, actually, come to think of it. I can take the small ones and then leave. Leave the big Raptor up to my jungler. Saves me more time, gets me more tempo as well by getting to just go mid sooner. We can never get this sort without our team, by the way. We'll look for a side lane play. You're kidding me. She just interrupted my E, by the way. Fuck me, she must have had vision, obviously. What can we do here? There we go, huge shutdown. Dude, I took so much damage from that. This is so unreal. I'm gonna have to transition for sure into at least... We'll, we'll do the, like the same build as before, we're just running an Eclipse with it. I want to do Riftmaker into Leandris. I want a lot of damage that isn't like physical damage. Particularly Leandris will be very useful against this guy. Wait, God damn it! Why am I doing another long sword? We'll just sell this one. I mean, I suppose maybe. Could Cerulus be good? It gives ability haste. Nice one. It's going into a safer spot to recall. Oh, it doesn't really matter too much with this anyway. Hmm. Yeah, we'll start off with Fiendish Codex. I don't really need to sell the longsword yet. I think probably Longsword is a better component on Smolder than on well, this, sorry, than uh, Amplifying Tome is. Okay, we're at about 10 stacks per minute again. Nice, I thought he was leaving that at the whiff. Oh. Nice. Hmm. I mean, the ult up there? Did decent damage. Yeah, the Eclipse is mainly just crazy good for, like, trading in lane. <laughs> We're obviously not in lane anymore. I'm not sure it was worth it at this point. Should have just sold it. The longsword. They're not on Baron, are they? No, they're not. I see Kaisa. Kaisa is also rotating bot. It's very unlikely anybody that actually has pressure on me is here. I should have used W first, my bad. Ah, oh, that was a disaster. Yeah, I should have used W then Q. I would have like one shot the wave. Okay, I'm at the breakpoint. Let's go. Now I may as well finish this. There's not much else for me to do. As soon as I can though, I can self uh sorry, I can base for hunting guys. Whoa. Oh, Jesus, her damage, what? Nice one. 
Oh, we're in a position of pressure, pressure here, sorry. I don't want the base as long as I can be grouped with my team to do something. When my team were off, like, farming their own stuff, though, it was the perfect time to base. Now it's not so much. We can't be basing while our team wants to do something. We need to be letting them do their thing by being around with them so their plays don't fail. Okay, I'm, I'm at that 225 point, so I'm fucking massive at the moment. I don't feel like this build is bad, actually. It's definitely not the ideal build order, but Eclipse is not feeling like worse than Riftmaker would have, you know? Definitely feel like I'm doing more damage, at least. It's giving me some tankiness, too. Raptors here? Yes. Now I could do, really do with just spacing. Wait, I want to pick up these embers, though. That's probably really greedy. I should probably just do it if they happen to be on the way of where I'm going. I shouldn't delay my recall for them. Uh, I suppose a big component like this will be worth it. Okay, nice. Trigger spawning in a minute. Not quite up yet. Okay, I thought we were doing something here, but never mind. Uh, Swave is mostly gone. I think I'll just go for the Raptors. Our jungler should not be top lane alone. <clears throat> I would go for the red buff, but it costs me so much mana to do the red buff if I don't have fucking like, Essence Reaver. So no, my, my Ember. My Embers. My Smolders. Hello. How crazy is it that I can go through a wall to escape him and he still reaches me? <laughs> That's Ramos for you. And he's trying again. God, he still knocked me up even. He doesn't really win even by himself though, even if I didn't get help here. Ow. Fuck me. Nice one. Oh, I'm sorry, Brand. I probably could have saved you by killing those plants. Oh well. That's really good though. Do we... Well, she can probably solo that. We can't really do Baron, I don't think. Oh, that's a Yoni. I'm gonna get out of here. Do need just a little bit of gold, though. Nice red buff. Please, please, please. I need the full wave. I do need the full wave. I need the full wave. The full wave. Maybe with the cannon is enough. I don't think it is. Oh, but I needed the full wave. I, I can actually my Thorns ring should be enough, right? Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Even just the cannon. Yeah, actually, even though I didn't get the full wave, even if I just got the final cannon, that would have actually been enough to not even have to sell my Thorns ring. That's fine. I, I can at least get it. Thorns ring isn't that big a deal. If I had Thorns blade again, I would be a lot less willing to sell that, and I'd be a lot more annoyed that he took that cannon. Oh, I kind of want to go for blue, but my team is all bot side. I should be bot side as well. We're going to path through mid towards bot lane. Oh, there's not even any farm to get here. But yeah, I definitely can't be going to the left side of the map. I need to be on the right side or at least the middle. I may be late, but at least I'm potentially in time to actually join something here, right? Uh, it's a shame we don't get more than that, it seems. We land a Q. Maybe she doesn't die. Oh, yeah, she barely doesn't. Oh, well.
<laughs> God, that Infernal Soul is gonna add so much poke damage to my W. Ooh, my Riftmaker is still stacking thanks to Landry's. Wait, that's crazy interaction, actually. Okay, huge. Love blue buff. Hmm, I think Yasuo is probably going to try and steal the farm on mid, so I'll go for the Raptors instead. So we're not sure in farm. Jesus. That guy is worth no gold. I just noticed how unfed he is. Ah, damn. Okay. <laughs> I got most of the stacks in the way, I guess. We should do Baron. Should be free. Dude, I've had blue buff for how long? Look how long it takes me to regen mana because of how much I spam. Awesome tree, bro. I miss you. As much as I want the Essence Reaver, it does feel like, once again, the best choice by far should just be Iceborne Gauntlet. Just synergizes way too well with this build. <clears throat> like, as much as I obviously would like a lot more mana, we get by with this amount of mana. So long as we have Presence of Mind, it's viable. It's a viable amount of mana. Unsatisfying, but viable. Uh, 30 cinders, by the way. Okay, I shouldn't have been going bot side. Our team is mostly either mid or top side, so I should be hovering top side. This is not going to kill her. I don't know why I bother. Wait, apparently Karma's here as well. Okay, nice. No. <laughs> to be fair, if I've got high amount of embers, I assume that means I scale worse with embers than the rest of my teammates. Because they have a lot of diminishing returns. Oh, my land is popping. It's done decent damage so far. Ow. Oh my god, the malignants did like 200 damage there. Forgot I need to step out of that. I do need to get out, yes. They got Baron for another... Well, like 60 seconds, minute. I don't want the red buff, so I'm not going to go for every single Ember there. Oh, wait, shit, my entire team is gone. He is going to chase me down, I need to pop Ghost. We see Kaisa coming for me as well. Whoa! I need to get out of vision because Kaisa is around. We know she's around. And she I just got CC'd, so she would be able to hold on to me. Now I'm not CC'd, so now I can actually try and do something. Wh where is Kaisa though? She hasn't appeared. Weird. Anyway, I'm basing. Cool. You could also definitely do... Like, if you were going to do a full build like this, you could also just do... Um, Frozen Heart instead of Eclipse, get even more armor in there. Absolutely probably the best choice against a full AD comp. We don't have as crazy amount of stacks as we had in the previous game, but we're still doing really well. I think it's about how much you fight, really.
this, Ramos. <laughs> Come on. Team, heal. Heal me. Heal me. Thank you. It's a bit illegal, but it just gets to do 80% of my HP, though. For free. Oh, God. Got the cannon. Oh. Okay, we can end. Ow. Got her. <laughs> nice one. GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Smolder to Diamond. This game playing Smolder Nautilus into Ezreal Senna. Just gonna walk up here. Should be able to get some nice poke here. Uh, this game I'm gonna be trying out the Triforce build. We can't V2 level 1. That's fine. Yeah. I don't intend to all in. I just wanna poke. If I'm lucky, I'll manage to hit both of them at the same time. Well, I'm lucky I even hit one there. I feel like I aimed that pretty badly. Not bad though. Oh. Nice one. Already got three stacks. Managed to hit center with the explosion of my W there. Enemies should be doing a better job of harassing us here. Since they're double ranged against the melee support. Not too bad. Even though Azrael was pretty low there, I don't think I quite had the damage to finish him off and not unless it backed off, so there was very little point to trying to continue that trade. Oh, that should be good. Just ignite him. Okay, perfect. Wait, he didn't even ignite. Holy crap, that was risky. Do they not have heal? Maybe they already used it. They probably already used it, to be fair. God, Smolder's early game is so nuts. Ah, oh, such a fun champion until they nerf him. God, that is just so absurd. Alright, I guess we might as well stay. I don't even have enough gold for Triforce yet anyway. Sorry, Triforce. Uh, Sheen. <laughs> I'm not waiting until Triforce before basing. Yeah, we're gonna be testing Triforce this game. I didn't- I wasn't actually initially sold on Triforce and Smolder, I thought it was just straight up worse than Essence Retriever. Uh, that being said, with the- all the new, like, items that people are discovering are good on him, like... Leandries and Shojin. Uh, Tri Triforce obviously does synergize a bit better with those sorts of items than... Essence Retriever and Navori do, so maybe that is something that we could... Try out, It's just gonna be Triforce into all those bruisery items. Should be a stronger first item par spike than doing Shojin or like even like the Iceborne Gauntlet, for example. While also transitioning just as well into all those items we want to build. Oh, careful, this is not a good time to all in. Yeah, I think he's pretty dead here. Do some damage at least. Okay, it's not too bad. On my E now. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I do have Sheen now. So whenever Nautilus gets back into lane here, there's a chance we might just be able to immediately get a kill again. I think I need to set up is it one auto before I can last it. Yeah. 
<laughs> nice. Ooh, nice. He is in lane. And, okay, and he just solo kills Ezreal, right? Oh, so Ezreal did have heal this whole time. So Ezreal could have survived the level 1, because Nautilus didn't ignite, but... <laughs> but Ezreal didn't heal, so he died. Fair enough. Does live this time, though. Jesus, this minion block. Wait, he's still... Okay, he's staying. I can definitely dive him, then. I would probably want to do... Boom. If I die, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with dying here. We deny a ton of farm from Ezreal here. Hopefully this wave is also going to go under turret. The only downside is I accidentally AOE'd some of this wave. I didn't mean to, but... That's more than fine. This is going to be so worth. Awesome. I'm going to sell a cookie here to get myself to this stage a little bit sooner. There we go. Not even any point trying to survive there because even if I did, even if I did somehow manage to live, just trying to survive there would actually just make it, like make it so I take so long to get back into lane that I may as well just die and just die as fast as I can. Just let's end the kill. Oh my god! I must have just had so many stacks from that. Just got two stacks from that. I think I just got two stacks from that. I'm pretty sure if I managed to do an AoE Q that both lost its minion and also hits a champion, that's just two stacks. <gasps> that was not meant to walk close to the cannon. Okay. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna go place a ward. Perfect. Hmm. Oh. God, it is so... Like, they, pick, they actually picked the worst season of all time to release Smolderin just because of every... Like, obviously, Nautilus is a melee support, so he would be using Relic Shield before anyway. But it's so frustrating now that every single support has an item that uh, encourages them to take CS, which is usually fine, but it means that I can't stack my Q as much as I could. Oh, come on. Ow. Uh, this ult was troll. I... Completely misclicked that, but that's fine. Uh, Ezreal just couldn't bothered, couldn't be bothered leaving lane or what? All right. Nice. I wanted to use my fleet on a champion there for more healing. Gonna be setting up these minions. Perfect. Ah, still don't have that much damage actually. It's partially because I've gone Sheen, obviously, so my damage is very inconsistent. I have a lot of single target damage, but not too much AoE at the moment on my Q. Perfect. Thinking these, and I'm gonna drag them here. Ah, I was trying to hit all three, but that's fine. I thought this one was a melee as well. I don't really want to do Drake. I'm just far too low at the moment. I think it's not smart to contest, or you know, to start Drake if all of us six was to draw near low. We're just easy kills for Kassadin and Echo at the moment, but they're free to try it. Um, you know what? We can just do two of these. It seems a bit silly, but I mean, so one is going to build into Ionians, and the other one is going to build into um, Caulfields for Shojin. So, yeah, I mean, ton of ability haste is not a bad base, right? So weird you can do that this season, but it's, I think it's good. My god. An ally has been slain. I stay on my fly. Like mom always says. Oh, 
Wait, did I just activate Sheen there? Or Triforce there on a minion that I... Did, on a Q that I didn't actually end up using because it got cancelled. I think that's what happened there. My well, did way too much damage. Might as well avoid taking, uh, taking damage there if I can avoid it. Oh man, but the attack speed from Trail Force, so... The, this definitely a little bit wasted in the sense that uh, when you're actually in combat with champions, you don't really feel like you rely too much on auto attacks or attack speed. But man, if we're actually setting up these last hits to be last hit with Q, it's actually so nice. Okay, so Johnny's on the way. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Oh, he landed it. Well played, nonetheless. Perfect. <laughs> I don't think that was ever going to kill Nautilus. Yeah, I'm not sticking around for the full turret, but I wanted that wave for sure. Yeah, so I think the bolt path we're gonna go for is obviously Shojin second is just like by far the best uh like non-pure damage focused item for Smolder. And after we've got our one main damage item from Triforce, it just always makes the most sense to build Shojin. And then I think we could do Leandri's third. Maybe I think that should be enough ability haste by then. Or but basically like you always want to build Leandri's around the three item point, because that is around the time when you should be unlocking your elder execute and the elder burn, right? It's the burn that makes Landry so good, in my opinion. Mm, I could do with some vision before Nautilus goes off roaming. Okay, he's returning. This should be an easy turret for me. Two stacks from that. Okay, that was probably a bit of a kill. But nice, we've got our upgrade from that. Now we're... Wow, we're at 10 CS per minute and almost 10 stacks per minute as well. Cannot deny that Trophus is definitely the best item as well for DPSing these camps. Nice one. Alright, I can't quite kill him, and that's fine. I, do you know how many stacks I got from that? I think it was like four? Whoa. Not bad, not bad. It was like four stacks. Every time you can fight a champion, if it's like anything remotely, like an even trade, that is so much more worth than just not trading, because you repeat that throughout the game over and over and over and over, and you just get so many stacks overall. I might stick around for another wave here. Mm, nah. I guess I must have died under turret. Or I must have already farmed that, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but, right, yeah, okay, so we're gonna be doing... Landry's next. By the time we finish that, we should either be at the 225 point, or we're gonna be really, really close to it. What the hell is... Ah, uh, here. <laughs> Good old Sana, she's the only immobile person here. Oh. Nice. 
Nice one. I've nearly got E back up. God, this build actually does feel so smooth. This, I think this is like the only way you can actually have smooth feeling auto attacks is just rushing for us. Actually, it does feel a lot better to use now. I, I see why the uh, there was somebody from Riot that was saying that they were considering some a buff to Smolder that was like just basically increasing his attack speed for more like satisfaction in playing him and using auto attacks because at the moment they don't feel satisfying at all. So that would be good because I mean it does definitely feel better with some attack speed, but realistically they can't really buff him right now. I feel like I'm probably getting ganked. Could be wrong though. He just felt like he was walking up there. Alright, we start maxing E now. Could already base, but I feel like I don't really want to base until I've at least got Hunting Guys and Blasting Wand. Not just one or the other. Are the Raptors up? They are. I should be farming those. What is going on there? And we're at over 10 stacks per minute, let's go. We're getting flanked, I think. Potentially, yeah, there it is. Ooh, that damage. Oh! Nice. Oh my god. Ah, damn. I was thinking he probably wouldn't have flashed. That's fine. Managed to get a little bit more mana back. Get out of here. Not bad. Yeah. Wow. I'm not that fat in terms of kills, but in terms of my farm and my stacks, I am so strong. Okay, we're finishing Leandris, and we're gonna be just about eight stacks away from completing the burn. Or upgrading to the burn. And now at this point, we can do Riftmaker. I'm just gonna go for the scuttle crab. Oh, whoops. I was meant to loss it though with Q. I'm gonna go for the raptors and the red buff, I guess, starting with this guy. He's not the raptors or the red buff, but. Basically, just need raptors and then I get the burn. Got it. Oh, I stole that. Didn't even mean to. Ah, uh, that must have been the burn, actually. <laughs> or maybe Leandris. I don't know why I'm just at their base. This is a little bit hasty. Yeah, we can do Baron, I suppose.
Okay, we also want to rush into Drake ASAP. I'm gonna, I would recall, but I think I need to rush straight over there. Because I think Echo... Like, he already should have been on the Drake. The enemies should have already realized we were on Baron and Drake was up. So that was their one chance to try and sneak that. I don't think he should have... Yeah, started it in time. Yeah, it's not. Multi? Oh, thank god. Damn, I actually meant to uh, properly go on those guys, but... One. Ah, still hit me. Okay, that. Ooh, nice. Yeah, the range on the W is actually not amazing. Like, it pretty much. It's, as soon as it slows down, it's very unlikely to hit anything. So you kind of need to be closer than that. As we're just gonna hit because he wasn't paying attention or something. But I'm generally trying to prioritize land my ultimate on the immobile characters of my team every time. Because if I use it on somebody who's really fast with dashes, they can just avoid it super easily. Definitely no point trying to hold cast it in, for example. Can at least hit the Nessus here. He's gonna get away, that's fine. We don't wanna engage in a chase there. Throat is about to die, come on. There we go. Dead. Alright, GG. This build this build definitely felt good. I'll try that again. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Smolder to Diamond. This game playing Smolder Nautilus into Ezreal Senna. Just gonna walk up here. Should be able to get some nice poke here. Uh, this game I'm gonna be trying out the Triforce build. We can't tv 2 level 1. That's fine. Yeah. I don't intend to all in. I just wanna poke. If I'm lucky, I'll manage to hit both of them at the same time. Well, I'm lucky I even hit one there. I feel like I aimed that pretty badly. Not bad, though. Oh. Nice one. Already got three stacks. Managed to hit center with the explosion of my W there. Enemy should be doing a better job of harassing us here. Since they're double ranged against the uh, melee support. Ooh. Not too bad. Even though Azrael was pretty low there, I don't think I quite had the damage to finish him off and not unless it backed off, so there was very little point in trying to continue that trade. Oh, that should be good. Just ignite him. Okay, perfect. Wait, he didn't even ignite. Holy crap, that was risky. Do they not have heal? Maybe they already used it. They probably already used it, to be fair. God, Smolder's early game is so nuts. Ah, <sighs> such a fun champion until they nerf him. God, that is just so absurd. Alright, I guess we might as well stay. I don't even have enough gold for a Triforce yet anyway. Sorry, Triforce. Uh, Sheen. <laughs> I'm not waiting until Triforce before basing. Yeah, we're going to be testing Triforce this game. 
I didn't. I wasn't actually initially sold on Traverse and Smolder. I thought it was just straight up worse than Essence Retriever. Uh, that being said, with uh, all the new like items that people are discovering are good on him, like Leandries and Shojin, uh, Tra Traverse obviously does synergize a bit better with those sorts of items than Essence Retriever and Navori do. So maybe that is something that we could try out. It's just going to be Traverse into all those bruisery items. Should be a stronger first item par spike than doing Shojin or like even like the Iceborne Gauntlet, for example. While also transitioning just as well into all those items we want to build. Oh, careful, this is not a good time to all in. Yeah, I think he's pretty dead here. Do some damage at least. Okay, it's not too bad. On my E now. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I do have Sheen now. So whenever Nautilus gets back into lane here, there's a chance we might just be able to immediately get a kill again. I think I need to set up these with one auto before I can last it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Ooh, nice. He is in lane. And okay, and he just solo kills Ezreal, right? Oh, so Ezreal did have heal this whole time. So Ezreal could have survived the level one because Nautilus didn't ignite, but <laughs> but Ezreal didn't heal, so he died. Fair enough. Does live this time though. Jesus, the spinning block. Wait, he's still... Okay, he's staying. I can definitely dive him, then. I would probably want to do... Boom. If I die, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with dying here. We denied a ton of fun from Ezreal here. Hopefully this wave is also going to go under turret. The only downside is I accidentally AOE'd some of this wave. I didn't mean to, but... That's more than fine. This is going to be so worth. Awesome. I'm going to sell a cookie here to get myself to this stage a little bit sooner. There we go. Not even any point trying to survive there because even if I did, even if I did somehow manage to live, just trying to survive there would actually just make it, like make it so I take so long to get back into lane that I may as well just die and just die as fast as I can. Just let anything to go. Oh my god! I must have just had so many stacks from that. Just got two stacks from that. I think I just got two stacks from that. I'm pretty sure if I managed to do an AoE Q that both lost hits a minion and also hits a champion, that's just two stacks. <gasps> that was not meant to walk close to the cannon. Okay. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna go place a ward. Perfect. Hmm. Oh. God, it is so... Like, they, they actually picked the worst season of all time to release Smolderin just because of every... Like, obviously, Nautilus is a melee support, so he would be using Relic Shield before anyway. But it's so frustrating now that every single support has an item that uh, encourages them to take CS, which is usually fine, but it means that I can't stack my Q as much as I could. Oh, come on. Ow. Uh, the Salt was troll. I... Completely misclicked that, but that's fine. Uh, Ezreal just couldn't, bothered, couldn't be bothered leaving lane or what? Alright. Nice, I wanted to use my fleet on a champion there for more healing. Gonna be setting up these minions. 
effect. Ah, still don't have that much damage, actually. It's partially because of Gunsheen, obviously, so my damage is very inconsistent. I have a lot of single target damage, but not too much AoE at the moment on my Q. Perfect. I'm thinking these and I'm gonna drag them here. Ah, I was trying to hit all three, but that's fine. I thought this one was a melee as well. I don't really want to do Drake. I'm just far too low at the moment. I think it's not smart to contest. Or, you know, to star Drake if all of us six was to draw near low. Or just easy kills for Kassadin and Echo at the moment. But they're free to try it. Um, You know what? We can just do two of these. <laughs> it seems a bit silly, but I mean... So one is going to build into Ionians, and the other one is going to build into... Um, call fields for Shojin. So, yeah, I mean, ton ability haste is not a bad base, right? <laughs> so weird you can do that this season, but it's, I think it's good. Oh my god. Wait, did I just activate Sheen there? Or Triforce there on a minion that I... Did, on a Q that I didn't actually end up using because it got cancelled. I think that's what happened there. My auto did way too much damage. Might as well avoid taking, extra, uh, taking damage there if I can avoid it. Oh man, but the attack speed from Triforce, so the, this definitely a little bit wasted in the sense that uh, when you're actually in combat with champions, you don't really feel like you rely too much on auto attacks or attack speed. But man, for actually setting up these last hits to be last hit with Q, it's actually so nice. Okay, so Drone is on the way. Whoa. Not bad, not bad. Oh, he landed it. Well played, Nautilus. Perfect. <laughs> I don't think that was ever going to kill Nautilus. Yeah, I'm not sticking around for the full turret, but I wanted that way for sure. Yeah, so I think the build path we're going to go for is obviously Shojin second is just like by far the best uh, like non-pure damage focused item for Smolder. And after we've got our one main damage item from Triforce, it just always makes the most sense to build Shojin. And then I think we could do Leandri's third. Maybe I think that should be enough ability haste by then. Or but basically like you always want to build Leandri's around the three item point because that is around the time when you should be unlocking your Elder Execute and the Elder Burn, right? It's the burn that makes Landry so good, in my opinion. Mm, I could do with some vision before Nautilus goes off roaming. Okay, he's returning. That should be an easy turret for me. Two stacks from that. Okay, that was probably a bit of a kill. But nice, we've got our upgrade from that. Now we're 
Wow, we're at 10 stacks per minute and almost 10 stacks per minute as well. Cannot deny that Charfer is definitely the best item as well for DPSing these camps. Nice one. Alright, I can't quite kill him, and that's fine. I, do you know how many stacks I got from that? I think it was like four. Whoa. Not bad, not bad. It was like four stacks. Every time you can fight a champion, if it's like anything remotely like an even trade, that is so much more worth than just not trading because you repeat that throughout the game over and over and over and over, and you just get so many stacks overall. I might stick around for another wave here. Mm, no. I guess I must have died under turret. Or I must have already found that, I'm not sure. <clears throat> well, right, yeah, okay, so we're gonna be doing... Landry's next. By the time we finish that, we should either be at the 225 point, or we're gonna be really, really close to it. What the hell is... Ah, uh, here. <laughs> Good old Sana, she's the only immobile person here. Oh. Nice one. I've nearly got E back up. God, this build actually does feel so smooth. This, I think this is like the only way you can actually have smooth feeling auto attacks is just rushing Trough Force. Actually, it does feel a lot better to use now. I, th I see why the uh, there was somebody from Riot that was saying that they were considering some a buff to Smolder that was like just basically increasing his attack speed for more like satisfaction in playing him and using auto attacks because at the moment they don't feel satisfying at all. So that would be good because I mean it does definitely feel better with some attack speed, but realistically they can't really buff him right now. I feel like I'm probably getting ganked. Could be wrong though. He just felt like he was walking up there. Alright, we start maxing E now. Could already base, but I feel like I don't really want to base until I've at least got Hunting Guys and Blasting Wand. Not just one or the other. Are the Raptors up? They are. I should be farming those. What is going on there? And we're at over 10 stacks per minute, let's go. We're getting flanked, I think. Potentially, yeah, there it is. Ooh, that damage. Oh! Nice. Oh my god. Ah, damn. I was thinking he probably wouldn't have flashed. That's fine. Managed to get a little bit more mana back. We'll get out of here. Not bad. Wow. I'm not that fat in terms of kills, but in terms of my farm and my stacks, I am so strong. Okay, we're finishing the Andrews, and we're gonna be just about eight stacks away from completing the burn. Or upgrading to the burn. 
And at this point, we can do Riftmaker. I'm just gonna go for the scuttle crab. Oh, whoops. I was meant to lost it though with Q. I'm gonna go for the Raptors and the Red Buff, I guess, starting with this guy. He's not the Raptors or the Red Buff, but. Basically, just need Raptors and then I get the burn. Got it. Oh, I stole that. Didn't even mean to. Ah, uh, that must have been the burn, actually. <laughs> or maybe Leandri's. I don't know why I'm just at their base. This is a little bit hasty. Yeah, we can do Baron, I suppose. Okay, we also want to rush into Drake ASAP. I'm gonna, I would recall, but I think I need to rush straight over there, because I think Echo... Like, he already should have been on the Drake. The enemies should have already realized we were on Baron and Drake was up, so that was their one chance to try and sneak that. I don't think he should have... Yeah, started it in time. Yeah, it's not. Molting? Oh, thank God. Damn, I actually meant to uh, properly go on those guys, but... Nice one. Ah, still hit me. Okay, that... Ooh, nice. Yeah, the range on the W is actually not amazing. Like, it pretty much, it's, as soon as it slows down, it's very unlikely to hit anything. So you kind of need to be closer than that. Ezra just got hit because he wasn't paying attention or something. But I'm generally trying to prioritize land my ultimate on the immobile characters of the team every time. Because if I use it on somebody who's really fast with dashes, they can just avoid it super easily. Definitely no point trying to hold Cassidy, for example. Can at least hit the Nessus here. He's gonna get away, that's fine. We don't want to engage in a chase there. Turret is about to die, come on. There we go. Dead. Alright, GG. This build, this build definitely felt good. I'll try that again. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Smolder to Diamond. This game playing Smolder Soraka into Ezreal Maokai. God, this leash does nothing. I just did like 120 damage to this thing with 4 autos. Maybe 160, something like that. Wasn't much though. I 
Anyway, this game... Oh, what the hell is he walking all the way over there for? This game we're gonna be trying out... Uh, just a crypt build, but going into Shojin into Leandris. Or maybe even the reverse order, we'll see. But I think this is the first time I try Leandris on a crypt build. I think it should be fine though. Missed all my W's so far, it's not good. But we're running Triumph anyway, since there's not really any need to do Presence of Mind if we're doing Essence Trigger anyway. Dude, I thought that was a flanking jungler. No, it's just a fucking... Sapling. Bro, this guy, like, he just keeps overextending us. Rocket does nothing about it. Oh, now that was a high value W if I've ever seen one. I've got cleanse up, by the way, so if Maokai wants to try and, like, flash W me under turret, which he, he can only really do on um, level 3 to push me towards it with his Q, I can just cleanse before. Oh, that damage. I can just cleanse during the W before he can knock me back. Oop. Managed to hit Maka with that too. Nice. Okay, so Ezreal, as far as I know. No, actually, he doesn't have heal. Perfect. Next W kills then. Oof. Got a bit too over eager, maybe. He is. Uh, I was gonna say, he's getting way too close. And quite kill him with that. Oof. Okay, I'll get a cookie. I'll get a little bit more mana to shove with again. Got him. Perfect. I don't really have much mana to shove with now, unfortunately. But we can shove one more wave. I do have mana for at least one W here. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. Just didn't want to risk trying to crash the previous wave. Because I don't think we could have done that. But this one is easy. Alright. He stole my five ward gold, he sure did. My best friend Marina used to tell me all sorts of stories. The one about the kingdom of ghosts. Mom, it's just a story. Don't have anything to trade back with there. I don't think I even need to cleanse her, do I? Nice. Kill me? Nice. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. That was a risk. I should have probably just used W on that. Nice, I actually hit him with that. Oh, I just barely couldn't reach him. That's kind of sad. I feel like that should have been a kill. I might have just been getting a like minion blocked a bunch while I wasn't looking. <laughs> that should have been three stacks, man. Fucking every fucking support having an execute now is so annoying. 
Like, uh, am I the only one that's just dr being driven mad by this every single game? Like, I get my... What the hell? She's actually just chasing him though she can't see anyone. Like, every single game I get myself hyped up for like two stacks or three stacks and then my support takes one and I'm like, fuck! I was about to get so much more. Well, one more, you know, to be specific. Hopefully that kills- Oh, you're kidding me. I couldn't really go any deeper than that because of Katarina still being in the lane, sadly, but jeez. That is sad. Oh, he wasn't even doing anything. We still- we don't know that Katarina's actually gone, by the way. No! Oh. Oh no, I really trolled that, my bad. I didn't have mana for my fucking Q after I used the... Oh, that sucks. Okay, he should be fine at least. Ah, <sighs> that was... Not my greatest moment. Couldn't cancel it to auto-attack him either. At least I don't think he can cancel it. No. Oh, super close. So I actually needed... 80, 88 mana to do what I wanted to do there. Like, it sucks because as soon as he eat away is the exact moment they got enough mana for Q. I just needed to have a little bit more patience and that would have worked. Come on, I, I'm nearly 6. Here we go. Come on. She's dead. Beautiful. So we do it. Oh, come. Ah! I hate the stacks. It is on. Oh, like it's just running my mental in these games, man. Like, why do they have to really smolder on this patch of all patches? Or this season of all seasons? Hang on, red buff is still burning. Ah, oh, I should have been a kill, actually. They did Sorka to actually do something, though. Oh, well. Maybe I just base for us. Yeah, I should base for us and Trevor now. I don't want to delay this. They want to do Drake. I don't think I should be doing it on this mana when I can already base for an item that will make my mana infinite. So, I hope they can do this without me. I'll rush their ace up. But I definitely needed this item before getting into another fight. Okay, that's fine. So long as they're also wasting enemy team's, enemy team's time, this is okay. Or if they even get to kill Katarina, I think they do. She's fucked up. Nice one. Up, oh, the W was a misclick. I actually could ult. <laughs> Never mind. No, Vlad, why go bot? You have a perfectly good lane mid that now I have to go to for no reason. Ah, oh, that's actually really frustrating. There's no reason for me to go mid against Karina where I can easily die now. Look, I'm at so much risk just trying to shove in one calm wave, which should have been... Oh, should have been easy on bot lane. How does she keep hitting me with that? I have to waste time rotating back. It's all good though. It could have been worse. Thankfully, Katarina seems to be behind. But there, there was just no reason to do that though. You see, like, it caught, it would have taken him just as long to go mid as to go bot. And there was, the, as far as I know, like, um, about equal amounts of farm. So it wasn't even like, even from a greed perspective, it just didn't make sense to go bot. He didn't gain anything from it. He just made it really awkward for me. Anyway, all good. Hmm. Do we want to perhaps rotate here? Nah, it's too late now. Grubs are down now. I fly in, make sure my E does damage, because I get a stack from that, and then... I use my, the, my Q. Please die. Yes. Lovely. <gasps> she's 
Shit, no stacks there. She almost cost me that. <laughs> Should have just queued the back line. I already missed the attack speed from Proper Stealth. Hello. Got it. I guess Soraka was just not paying attention. She might have been. Yeah, she was probably looking top lane because she just ulted. I need to flash that, make sure I don't take damage from that. Maybe I can fight back now, though. God, I don't know what her cooldowns are when she doesn't get resets. <laughs> Peace. How far is he willing to chase? Not that far. <laughs> okay, so Rock is about to get here and I just managed to harass a lot of HP from him, so we're good to stay here. Ow. Okay, so Rock is here. I don't know if he has E or not. Shit, he probably does. If he doesn't, though, I could be ulting him. But... At worst, I, I get a heal from that and do some damage to Makai. I should have ulted him. Oh, what? That was meant to target Ezreal. Oh, no, you're kidding me. Okay, Ezreal is dead. Thankfully. <laughs> How did that not target Ezreal, though? I swear it was, I was already in his range. Attacking the lowest health enemy for X damage each. There's definitely an unmentioned mechanic in this, though. Where it keeps on prioritizing the first person it hits. Maybe it switches targets eventually, but... There was definitely uh, like a good three attacks there where I was definitely in range of Ezreal and it just kept on prioritizing Maka anyway, right? Because look at this. Maybe I wasn't initially in range, but he, like he's already in the circle, right? And it just didn't throw a single attack at him. Lowest health enemy, my ass. <laughs> Oh, nice, we're at the upgrade. Ooh, what's over there? Eventually being ganked, or what? Yeah, she was there. Thought so. I don't cleanse. I gotta make sure I get into a safer spot. Oh my god. If she really wanted to get onto me, this Maka would have made it possible for her. Oh no. Gonna waste a lot of time, but got him. Nice one. Oh man, I didn't even notice these guys were fighting here. Uh, I probably should have just been focusing on helping them, because even if um, Makai maybe survived, it would be more worth to try and carry this fight compared to just trying to chase one kill. Oh, what's going on here though? They have a herald. Crap. We need the base and deal with this. It's already done now then. Let's go mid. Whoa, hello. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell are the odds of that? Poor Briar. She did not necessarily deserve to lose that. Ah, hang on. She's going over here. 
Got a huge shutdown. Thank you very much. Can Gwen dash this wall? Uh, we'll step inside the zone, make sure we can keep targeting her. Doesn't look like she's- oh god. I forgot I was gonna say. Ah, uh, no, I'm almost certainly dead. Nearly good eat. Ooh, I was trying to hit- well, I did hit Gwen there, but I didn't quite kill her. Ooh, come on. Got her. And I can potentially flash if I need to. Wow, this is so insanely lucky that I lived. What the hell? MVP Soraka as well, by the way. Jesus. She kept me alive a lot longer than I should have been. Okay, let's go. Ho -ho. Damn. Yeah, I think Soraka could be decent with Smolder. He doesn't have a whole lot of burst, so just keeping him alive longer so he can keep doing his thing in terms of DPS, I think is very valuable. Oh, my stacks are pretty bad this game. I guess it's been pretty chaotic. My stacks are pretty good, though. I'm actually at 10 stacks a minute. So uh, even though we've been not getting necessarily as much form as we should have, at the very least, we seem to be stacking off of champions a lot. Oh, no, no way. Got her. <laughs> oh, no, he's back on me again. But the Soraka healing, man, like, you see what I mean? Oh, that was too satisfying. Okay, and that was, I think they actually just died to the Elder execute, because that's exactly the moment I got the execute. And we know that the effects apply as soon as you upgrade. Retroactively, even though that doesn't make sense. Oh my god, I have so much gold. What? Wait, I should just based, based on spent that ages ago, actually. Mm, I don't think we have to stay for that. This Drake is going to be up in 54 seconds. I want to make sure I've spent my gold. Oh, for... That's so annoying. Where should I base here? Oh, hello, Vlad. Can't help him. I need to prioritize my base. Although, actually, this actually looks too free, though. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my word. I just feel, it feels so illegal to be sitting on like 6,000 gold here and still fighting. But, like, the enemies are clearly just overextended there. They're overforcing. Alright, we just get the wave and now we peace out. And I don't stick around for the golems or anything, which is something I might usually do. I just want a base. I need to spend this gold. Oh my god. Okay, and now they just surrender, so it doesn't matter what I build. But damn, I actually I wanted to test that. Uh, really, Leandro's third would have been a good test here with this build, but oh well. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Smolder to Diamond. This game playing Smolder Teemo into Ash Janna. So I think this game, I'm probably just going to do the full AP build. Well, you know, fullish. The Just the one we did before, Shojin into Riftmaker into Leandris. 
And the reason for that is the enemy team has Malphite who very much wants to build armor. So what if I just go haha no and I go AP? Then what is he going to do? Because his champion really wants to build armor. Doesn't function as well if he has to build MR. And we still have two different ADs on the team even if I go AP. So we shouldn't have too much AP. I need to mute this team up. Actually, maybe I could have gone Comet this game just to show it off if I am going to AP anyway. Too late now, but... I don't think I've actually done it a single time in the video. I think it's okay, I just don't think it's actually as good as Fleet. But it would have been nice to show it off at least once. It's so crazy, actually, by the way, the way at level 1, you can just straight up get more stacks with harassing with W than you can just trying to loss it or trading with Q. I mean, you could, trading with Q, I suppose you could do it, but... It would obviously have less range and not have the AoE possibility. Like, I just got two stacks from that. Oh, careful. All I can try and do here is fight. Wait! No! That's so illegal! I pressed W first. Oh, look at this. She might that I mean if I'm lucky. No, I'm not that lucky. Dude, that's so tilting. Look at this, look at this. The replay will show that I tried to press W first and it just didn't go off. Maybe it was just on cooldown stuff when I tried to do it? Like, you see me pressing W, right? Like, if I just pressed W before Q, she would have been dead. That's T, that's my attack move, then W. Ah, but I guess it was just like 0 0.01 seconds off cooldown. Uh, I don't know, man. Fuck this tilt thing. I just needed to use W first and she was dead. Fuck me. That's so sad. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh my lord. Well, our lane is kind of off to a bad start. But we've come back from worse. Granted, that involved sheer luck, but there's no reason why sheer luck can't carry us through this one again. Damn it. I was checking to see if the friend request that I had on Discord was a bot, and yes, it's a bot. No real people actually wants to be a friend of mine. Marino says people think there's no more Imperial Dragon. But he never lets me prove them wrong. Ah, let's click there, my bad. No, there's so much she can do about us pressuring these platings by herself. Careful team oh, oh that was a really necessary to shot. Alright, I said we just shove this wave in and then base. An enemy has been but where's Jana? Okay, she's dead. She must have been roaming. Okay, we don't have to base then. We can maybe get another plating. Beautiful. She's gonna be going for the costers now, which puts her in range of me hitting her with you when she walks up to lost it <clears throat> we don't have ignite so dive unlikely to work out here oh we might be getting ganked not again <laughs> He's dead. Ah, uh, this is a really troll W for me. Come on, Timo.
<laughs> nice. Three stacks from that. I'm just going to be thinking about stacks all the time. Whoa, that was a misclick on my cleanse. Uh, should be fine, though. <laughs> Perfect. That was really clum clumsy using my cleanse like that, but... It's all good. <laughs> I think it might have baited them anyway. Oh. Yeah, I think if I hadn't actually fat fingered my cleanse there, I don't think Ash would have actually gone in. You know? I really hope Yasuo isn't on the way, because I think I can easily kill Ash here. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, she had heal. It's the only reason she's alive. If Janna freezes now, then it is what it is. Can't do anything about it on this HP. I suppose, I mean, I suppose I can actually just try and shove it in again. This is a little bit risky, though. I don't think Jonna can just sort of 1v1 me, right? That's the main concern here. But I will save at least my big W cooldown for her. I just leveled up. What? No! I should have had her. Fuck. Uh, oh, well. It did cost her her flash. Do I at least break the freeze? If I didn't break the freeze, then what a disaster. Okay, it, it's not exactly broken, but it's well, definitely a lot less strong. If Timo dies here, this is so stupid, by the way. <laughs> oh no, he is so dead, isn't he? There was no reason for this. He could actually just go invisible. Go invisible. At least waste a ton of their time. Mm. He's making this lane a lot harder than it needs to be, for sure. Yeah, it was smart of me, definitely, to just hold on to my W. Because I had a feeling that she might try and 1v1 me. The, w the fact that this wave was as big as it was is the only reason why it was even this close. Yeah, if I just turned with Q in time. I don't know if it even would have killed. I might be wrong, but there was a possibility for sure. Oh. John actually stayed. <clears throat> this is good, though, because at the moment they've just cancelled their bases. Oh, John is ulting. Should we clear this? There we go. I don't actually want to trade unless I got W up. That's my main trading tool. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even trade back with that. How insane is that? I'm so slowed that I can't even E forwards onto her. Uh, she might have ult again soon, by the way. I don't have cleanse. So I gotta actually play very carefully here. Ah, that sucks. But I'm guessing Ash Schultz is probably back up. What do you mean mid gap? You're the only reason we're losing both. Maybe he's trolling. Oh, okay. I think Timo's support is a very genuine pick, but you could easily imagine it's the sort of pick where somebody would pick it just to troll as well, you know? I don't know how I'm not getting it to go into the whole wave, but well. If he goes for any CS with his item, ideally it should be those melees. Because if I just focus my Q on the back line, then at least that's where I can get the most amount of stacks from one last hit. Whereas if he's going for the back line instead of the melees, that's just super troll for me. Because it's it splits up the amount of CS that I could be lessening with Q into like different positions where can't they UE them. Uh, he's definitely trolling at this point. Fuck's sake. Maybe I go try and contest Herald here. Looks like we've already lost a fight though, so not really any point. Well, we know he's not spamming this for the enemies. Oh, like, he could have just gone for this one melee, man. Instead of going for the ones where I want to stack in an AoE. Oh. My bad. Alright, I don't have my... I missed my W, so there's no point trying to continue trading there. Hmm. 
I think I just ult here. Oh, but he also can block it. Do you think he will? Well, that didn't really wipe out the whole wave. I can't see if that turret is close to falling. It is, damn it. Oh, well. I could have tried to aim it at the melees as well, but then there's just the risk that Yasuo ults it, because it would be aiming it right at Yasuo. Or, sorry, that he would win wallet. He must have again. Yeah, I mean, it's, pr it's probably a loss. That's fine. My aim here is just to maintain as high a performance as I can. No point getting upset over a free loss. Shit happens. Nice one, no Nocturne. Our aim here is not necessarily to win, but to get as close to winning as possible, right? Like, the closer we get, the better we did. We, t we, treat the we try hard this just to get practice for the wins that we can actually can obtain. And if we are in the process, we end up accidentally winning, then perfect. Oh, come on, he deliberately didn't let me loss at that. Oh boy. Really got W. Oh, perfect. Oh boy. I'm very dead here. That's fine. Hopefully Timo at least gets out. Janna Flash, very aggressive. Ah, uh, but she actually does get him. Well, he also has an ult at least. Ooh. Ooh. See, this game is a little bit unfortunate. Like, if it were just the team were trolling, that would be okay. I mean, it's it's only really Ori doing bad, and she's not even doing that bad. So I guess I guess it's not like too bad in that sense. But we've had so many games where pretty much our entire team was doing well, right? So if that if that could have been one of those games exactly as we have the trolling Teemo, that would be easy to win. But instead we have a game where I'm kind of struggling, which it doesn't necessarily have to have to happen every time that I have a trolling support. But in this game, I'm not doing well. Um, our mid laner also isn't doing amazing. Our Nocturne is is he's, he's doing okay, but like he's also struggling quite a bit with five deaths. It doesn't seem like the ideal game to try and win when we have a trolling support. Like I said, we'll try our best, but no, we try and don't maintain like any expectations because that's just gonna like be too tilting. I'm trying hard even though I just don't expect to win. Beautiful. All right, we are getting some good plays with Nocturne though, or at least Nocturne himself is. We'll try and play around the Nocturne, I guess. Ooh. I don't have E here, but at least there's no wind wall in Yasuo now. Oh come on. Huge. I mean, that's a shame that he goes to Nocturne, but I'll take it. Let's go. But please don't. Oh, he's got to stop trolling me, though, if we don't have any chance of winning this. My god. Should I go bot here? Maybe. Uh, I don't have ult, though. But if I had ult, I could potentially make a play with Yorick there as well. Like, him, like um, Nocturne getting the kills is fine. That's whatever, but... At the very least, let me stack. There is definitely a chance we could win. If I play well enough, we can win. If my team also, like, you know, doesn't all suddenly start playing worse than they are. Oh, oh, I just wasted my E, my bad. I'm probably dead here, sadly. Oh, no, okay, I'm okay. My bad, I guess I didn't realize that she could just turn on me from the minions with her W. Did she just ult? She did, did she did. Wait, shit, what am I building? This is supposed to be fucking Riftmaker second. Yeah, I think I'll just sell these longswords, maybe. Because this Yor- this, sorry, this uh, Malphite is only building armor right now. We'll sell these longswords eventually, I don't need to sell them yet. At the moment, these are higher value than literally the nothing else I could pick up. Maybe selling them would give me enough gold for... Yeah, they, they, they... I don't know, they might give me enough gold for blasting one, but it's not necessarily more valuable than double one sword. <coughs> okay, the enemies are going to be trying... Herald here. No! I did that right as the ult did. Fuck me. Okay, at least I hit Yasuo. 
I'm assuming Malphite doesn't have ult. We got Yorick blocking him off. Oh, I think I made a mistake here trying to chase him. Oh, he flashed. Okay. Okay, at least my team isn't really getting into fight without me yet. Now they are. Okay, nice. Not too bad. He's trying to make it to the next wave. He's going to make it, sadly. We have to keep chasing him, though, I guess. Otherwise, he just wipes out the entire wave. And escapes. Nice. <laughs> game is so chaotic. It's making it really inconvenient to stack as well. What are my stacks? I am so far behind 10 stacks a minute, man. It's crazy. This is partially on my team. Well, I would say it's probably more on my team than it is on me, really. Obviously, a lot on the Teemo for making the lane unplayable for us, but then also my teammates are just doing a terrible job of letting me stack. Which, and unfortunately, I do have to play a lot with my teammates because obviously I can't play for lane on bot lane. Like, I don't even have to sell both of my long swords immediately. I can just... This turret is going down. There's no point defending that. Oh, well, actually, knocked on a Zolt up. Are they going to overstay? Potentially. Perfect. That's one kill for me, finally. She's going to get away, probably. That's fine. Whoa, is she getting help? or she? No, she's just trying to kill Nocturne. And oh, she doesn't succeed. Let's go. Huge. This is so massive. Okay, the, there's two people alive. One is Ash, one is Yasuo. Yasuo is bot. I have no idea where Ash is. I might die for trying to stick around here. It's probably a risk I'm willing to take because of all the places on the map she could be, it's unlikely she's here. And even if she it does turn out to be here, I could still find a way to escape. If I know the only possibility is getting collapsed on by Ash, I think I'm willing to take that risk. Okay, I don't even have to sell my longswords yet. I was going to say, I can sell like one longsword for hunting guys. I don't have to immediately sell both of them. <clears throat> Maybe at some point we would want to do Lord Dominic's regards. I'm not sure how much physical damage I do with this build, though, but I mean, I guess it's, like, a, at least some. My Q does a lot of physical damage. My ult is physical damage, and my ult is a lot of damage. So, maybe either Lord Dominic's or maybe Sprilda's Grudge. She gets away. Well, actually, does she? I nearly have E. Nice one. But let me stack. It's so crazy. Okay, she's dead. Shame I didn't get a loss with my Q, but I will. Yeah, maybe we overchased it, by the way. I'm not entirely sure. I wasn't paying too much attention, but looks like the fight was continuing. I don't think I realized that. Ooh, should I base? I think I should. I don't think I have to be afraid of Barra, though. Potentially famous lost words. We'll see. Ah, but if she just runs away, then it's just a waste of all my summoners. No! Okay, that was so insanely close. Fuck me. My bad. God damn, she's so fast though. <laughs> also, that dash is insane range. Maybe a foster clan. Well, I definitely could have done a foster cleanse. I'm not sure how much of a difference it really would have made though. The main thing is that I should have probably not tried this unless I had ult. If I had more items as well, it would have worked. The elder burn would have killed her there. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can sell this for hunting, guys. <laughs> I'm really behind on my Elder Burn, but I should still have it around the time that I complete Landry's. This might be for me, or is it bot lane? Probably bot lane, I imagine. Oh, go for Yasuo, not for Janna. Oh no. 
on the way, but... Damn. Not much for me to do there. Oh man, I do camp so slowly with this build. Probably, like, it doesn't feel like this was worth it, actually, compared to just rotating. Going for more bolt lane farm. There's a slight risk of going bolt lane, so I'm not going to go there. Plus, it leaves the farm available for Yorick to just split, I guess. We also have Teemo fucking taking up a lane worth of farm, though, which is really inconvenient. One of many things that is just making it a lot harder to stack this game, just by virtue of being having less access to farm. They're not on Baron, are they? No. Ah, <clears throat> oh, fuck me, I meant to go on Yasuo there. Oh no! That sucks. Let's do some damage before we die. Ah, oh, fuck me, that was a good snipe from Briar. Mm, I meant to actually go in here though, so I meant to snipe Yasuo through the wall with my Q. And then I would go on him with E, but instead... So I thought I was in range here, so I tried to cast it, but instead you can see I just ended up moving down by accident. Then I tried to E forwards, which would have been like finishing him off, and then I could go him off it as well. But I was, because I didn't get my Q off, I was like, fuck, I don't think I can kill him now, so I just ended, ended up backing out. I might have been fine if Briar didn't chase me, because I think I might have been able to 1v1... Ash, but the barrel hitting me just condemned me, sentenced me to death. Maybe I should have just straight up dived on Yasuo and not hit the Q first. Ah, oh, I'm so close to my Landry's. So then my longsword would get me it after Raptors, I think. I think, is she gonna steal this? Okay, thank god. Ooh, I should be going bot as well. I'm ulting, but this is this seems like not a good fight to go for, actually. Uh, there's no point. Oh no. What the hell? I just got the Elder Burn. Come on! No! I lost vision and I can't risk turning around. Man, that's so sad. Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, come on. I was not thinking they still had Malphite ult after all that. Oh, This game was has actually been so incredibly close to being carryable, I think. Just a bunch of really small things going wrong. The main issue was them getting to like this, like uh, over the past minute at least, the main issue that just happened to get us into this terrible position was just the enemies, or sorry, my team getting into a fight bot lane. When I just wanted to recall for my Leandries, I was not in position to fight at all, and there was no reason for me to expect the fight to happen. That sucks. Maybe we can still win this though, we'll see. I'm nearly up in time to defend. I can probably snipe Ash and well, or at least one of them with my ultimate. Jonah Shield might save one or two of them, though. Oh, gonna hit both. Oh, that didn't kill Ash. Oh, that's inconvenient. It's not the end of the world, though. I just need to make sure to defend here. <coughs> this might be for me. Okay, no. I wonder if it was for anybody. Did she use that from base? Because I don't think that would reach. Maybe she thought her ult is global. Yeah, I think 
may as well try out the uh, Sorrel Grudge this game. I don't know, maybe Lord Dominic's, but... Nah, Sterling's World does should be better with this build. Need to get rid of that Blast Gun so you also can't use it. Oh boy. What the hell is Malphite doing here? No. Okay, we tried. At least I got Janna. <laughs> uh, that's a sad game. I don't know why Timo decided to troll. Maybe, maybe he started trolling from the start, and maybe he just got upset when he started losing lane and decided to start trolling to make it seem like it wasn't really his fault. Like he's not really that bad. But oh well, shit happens. I think it's clear this game would have been winnable had he not been trolling easily. Oh, that was meant to be a yes vote. <laughs> That's fine. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.